What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome to another God Logic Apologetics stream. I'm your host, Avery Austin, where we invite the disbelievers, the non Christians, the non Trinitarians to come up on the platform and tell us why their position is the correct position. It's good to see you guys. It's been a few days. I've been pretty busy um, doing other things in a transition right now. And so uh, I can't wait until everything is finalized and can show you guys the fruits of our labor. I appreciate you guys so much. Someone said it's 145 where they are. That's crazy. Man, it's late for you. <laughs> That's insane. But it's good to see you guys, man. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, let me know where, uh, where you guys are watching from. I always love to see where uh, the ministry is reaching. It's so good to see you guys, man. So come on in. Uh, Jesus is my Lord. 72. Always, always with the support, with the super chat. Thank you so much, sister. She goes on. She's on a, a TikTok. Uh, she's everywhere we are, man. Everywhere we are, she's she's with us, riding, riding with us. Uh, so we got Indianap Indianapolis in the house. We got Maryland in the house. New York in the house. We got Australia. Baltimore, Vegas, Lika. There we go. That's right. The sister that went to minister at the Pride Parade with me. Yeah, that whole crew. I can't wait to see you guys again. And we got Australia. We got Australia. We got everybody. Scotland, Jersey. That's what I'm talking about. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Memphis, Tennessee in the building. Yeah, what's going on, guys? Isaiah, good to see you. Good to see you. Albert in the house. Life DTD, what's going on, my brother, my twin? You on you on mic, man. You're not gonna say nothing. You don't gotta say nothing if you too cool. That's all right. Listen, we have a topic here today. The topic, I'll let you come up when you're ready. Oh, there you go. I'm still in my stream. I'm gonna I'm gonna end it and we're gonna we're gonna come over. Okay, for sure. Do your thing. All right. All right. But yeah, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, you guys see the title here. Uh, I love this title. It's one of the funnest runs I've been doing um, in this entire uh, ministry career is for the Muslims to prove that Jesus was a Muslim for about $200. We got folks watching from Oceanside, California. What? You're not too far from me. Oceanside and Florida. That's what's up. Alaska in the house. I see you, DJ. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And we got another super, another super chat. Pomona, you're not far from me either. Wow. Man, y'all are close. This whole time, y'all this close, y'all not saying nothing? That's crazy. You guys are real close. We got King Drake in the house, undefeated on the marathon. <laughs> that's right. I think tonight might be the night someone wins, and I'll take my shahada. Look, King Drake has been watching this from day one. From day one, uh, has been watching the Muslims try their best to prove that Jesus is a Muslim. And so here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have, we've been on TikTok rocking with this. A Muslim owes me money. He owes me $200 for proving to him that Jesus is God in the Bible, that Jesus, out of his own mouth, said that he was God. Um, and he owes me money. He owes me $200 and he didn't pay up. He wouldn't pay up, which inspired me to do this challenge. And this time we will actually pay up to the winner. We will actually pay up to the winner. In fact, we um, we got so many people that's excited about this that people are pitching in. We got people pitching in. Sister Stacy says she'll throw in 50. Uh, 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 Chris Claus from One Way Apologetics said he'll add on 200. So that's 450. And then we got somebody else that said they're going to add in 50. We got Chloe who said she'll add in 200. So that's what are we looking at. Uh, six fifty seven hundred, seven hundred dollars $700. And all you got to do is prove that Jesus was a Muslim. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to open up the stream. You guys are going to be able to come up. Muslims alone. We got we got Albert here. From the scripture plug, Albert, who says, God bless Brother Avery. Get ready to 
Yeah. <laughs> you got no faith, man. Get ready to keep that 200, but hopefully someone comes to know God on this stream. Yes, amen. That's the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to debunk the falsehood and introduce the truth, the way, and the life who is the beautiful Son of the Father, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who saves and pulls us out of darkness, right? So that is the goal here is to spread the gospel to the non-believers. So get your snacks, get your popcorn, get your tea, get your juice, your soda, and let's go ahead and have a good time and see if some Muslims can prove to us that Jesus was and is, because he's still alive, a Muslim. Here's the link. There's the link right there. So Muslims, you're more than welcome to come up. We are live. If you're watching from Facebook, go ahead and give a like, give a reaction. Watch it from YouTube. Make sure you smash that like button, 434 that like button. All right. There's the stream link right there. What's going on, Chris Claus in the house? I'm probably muted. No, I ain't. God bless nope. you, brother. God bless. <laughs> what up, man? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Now, I would be on camera, but right now it's a little fuzzy right now, so I'm trying to get it a little yeah, bit better. Yeah, what's up with that? It's, it's, uh, I'm working with it. I'm working with it. Mm. Right, I'm okay. going to get it going. Okay, for sure. For sure. All right. We got Ace who says, Salam al Masih. Just wanted to ask you when you're going to invite Christians to your stream, like last time, and talk with you a bit, brother. God bless. That will be this Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah, this Friday, I will have a stream. Where the Christians can come up and we could chat. We could talk it up. You guys can ask questions and stuff like that. Get to know me a bit. Um, so Friday, be looking out. We will have that stream, okay? Um, life, you can come up whenever you want. You know you have those controls. Um, and we got here, follower of Christ who says, may God continue to bless you, brother. We coming straight from Brazil. That's what I'm talking about. Way in Brazil, man. God bless you guys. And we got Mike in the house. Good to see you, big Mike. Mike is watching. Man, I love the brother. Oh, we got somebody adding in a thousand on their end. So a thousand, so what? That's like 1,700. 1,700 total for the, for the Muslim who can prove to us that Jesus is a Muslim. $1,700 total. We all pitch it in. Whatever you want. If you want the money, if you want us to donate it to a cause or something like that, you know, we'll give it up, man. We'll, we'll give it up for you. <laughs> I see you, Don. Thanks for the super chat. All right, so we have uh, Jim in, is is in here. Let's see, Jim, come on up. How you doing, man? Uh, oh, oh uh, I actually want to ask you something real quick. You saw my uh, message in the chat. Uh, let me check. Yeah, yeah, I, I see it in the chat. Yeah, I wanted to join because I. Oh man. Oh, you wanna you wanna debate with Muslims? Yeah, cause I, I was actually like thirsting to debate with some people, you know. Like, yeah. <laughs> if you're thirsting to debate with Muslims, then join me on like TikTok or Clubhouse. Mm -hmm. They're they're twenty four seven on there, bro. Clubhouse is probably the best bet. Yeah. Oh, so join 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 us on Clubhouse or join us on TikTok, and you could come up with us and and get at it. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. So don't download that app, bro. Yeah. Sure. Of course. For sure. For sure. All right. Is that was that it? Yeah, like, okay. like, like, you want me to go or like? Uh, no, no, yeah, cause I, I, I just wanted the, the the Muslims to come up here and prove to us that Jesus was a Muslim, and so mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But if you wanna, yeah, you wanna join us and uh, and debating the Muslims, join us on Clubhouse and on TikTok. Okay, yeah, sure. Be uh, see you, man. All right, for sure. God bless you, brother. Yeah, God bless you, bro. I love you. I love you too, bro. Love you too. All right, Caleb uh, looks looks like a familiar account. What's going on, Caleb? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing, Avery? I'm all right, man. You, I don't, I don't remember. Are you a Christian or a Muslim? Nah, I'm Christian, bro. I was just on Life's Live. I, one way knows me. I'm like been streaming with Life lately, so just new kid into the faith, into apologetics. So okay, okay, okay. For sure. He told, he said uh, to come over to you. So okay, for sure, for sure, for sure. All right, so uh, Christians and Muslims, we are we are waiting for you guys. Uh, not the Christians. I'm sorry. The Muslims were waiting on you guys to come on up and uh, and join the panel. Muslims, join the panel. 
so that we can uh, get this evidence that Jesus was a Muslim. All right. We got the prize money ready for you. We got everything ready for you. We've been hearing some very interesting, very, very interesting arguments for this. Very, very interesting arguments. Like, uh, for example, we were even told actually multiple times that Allah actually is a father. Haven't, haven't, haven't you heard this now, Chris, a few yeah. times in these arguments? Yeah, he is. He's a father. Of course he is. Mm -hmm. That's what He's that father has been saying. Yeah, exactly. So Allah is a father. So, so Caleb, uh, we're, I'm saving the spots for the, for the Muslims to come up. So, um, so this is just for going to be for the Muslims. All right. So I need, uh, right. I need the spots to be freed up. I appreciate you though, bro. Fr you Friday, I'm letting the Christians come up and, and join, and whoever comes up, you know, we can all do it. All right, yeah. so that's gonna be for Friday. <laughs> Black doctor. <laughs> Black doctor said I'm still blown away. But yeah, so watch, watch on YouTube, bro, and uh, and enjoy the show, man. Enjoy the show. Keep me in your prayers. Keep me in your prayers. All right. All right. So we got Zach in the building. What's up, Zach? <clears throat> What's going on, Zach? Zach, I need you to come off your mic so I know it's you, bro. Mike always tripping. Always tripping. need you to come off your mic, man. Let me know it's you, Zach. Yeah, this I it I done told him in the other live stream that there's a Zach that comes up here that uses the name that uh, likes to troll. That, that yeah, is yep. a troll, and we can't do that. All right, come back when you're ready, Zach. Come back when you're ready. I'm going to just kick you from the stream. Come back when you're ready. And let me know if your mic is on. All right. Uh, Avery, is this just you and, like, Bob on here for right now? or Bob? No, no, Bob's not. Bob's no, not I said Bob. Way. I'm tripping. Uh, I meant, like, one way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me and just one way. All right, yeah. I didn't, I think it's life. You know if life is going to join the panel with y'all? Yeah, just, li life always joins. It's life. Um, Chris. My guy, Black Doctor or Hunter, and they are, they're my brothers that I always run with um, when I'm doing this stuff. <clears throat> when I have, when I go up on Fridays, that's when I'm going to start letting other Christians come up and engage and stuff like that. All right. Yeah. I was going to say, because Hunter and Hunter and Life are usually like, yeah, me, Hunter, Life, and then One Way will be there. And then like, we're the four that usually talk to like the Muslim audience on live stream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, man. For sure. That's what's up. But yeah. Yeah, God bless so. you, Caleb. Did y'all hear me or I think so. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, God bless you, Caleb. No, no problem. God bless you too. And we got a super chat here who says you should do a stream. Who is a better example? Jesus versus Muhammad. We've done that. We've done a bunch I, of those. And and I don't like that. I, I'd rather do Paul versus Muhammad at that Baha point. Paul right? versus Muhammad. And that's not even a uh a fair comparison. <laughs> nope. That that's wow. like put that's like putting a UFC fighter up against a three year old. <laughs> exactly. Zach, you there? Zach, you there? <clears throat> you gotta you gotta speak up, bro. Zach, you there? Come on, bro. I need you to speak up so I know it's you, man. I saw you unmute your mic. I don't know if it's you, though. It it probably isn't if he won't talk. I don't care about the camera. I need to hear your voice. Your mic's not working. All right, you got to come back when your mic's when your mic's working, man. Come back when your mic's working. Because I got to make sure it's you. I know your voice. Anyway, yeah, so Christians, please do not click the link if you're a Christian. Good Lord. Christians, do not click the link. I need to save the space for the Muslims. All right? Saving the space for the Muslims. Because <clears throat> uh, these, these spaces, my spaces always fills up way too quick. Christians be sitting in the backstage when I clearly said, I do not want Christians to hit the link. All right, so, all right, Zach is back. Zach attack. 
We got Muslim on the stage here. Go ahead, Muslim. Can you speak? Hello. Okay. Say a few yeah. words so I know that the so I can recognize the voice. Yeah, it's uh yeah, we've, it's bro or whatever you call me. That's right, that's right, that's right. Let me change. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Good, good, man. I always like talking to you. I just have a question. So, it's more like I'd say to get stuff started. Sure. So there's this passage that I hear a lot, and it's about how people say, like, so if Jesus is God, he should know everything, but he doesn't know the hour. I'm sure you're familiar with that. Yeah, we went over this, but today, my friend, we're talking about whether or not Jesus was a Muslim. So wouldn't that be like relevant to the to the question? Uh, I don't know if Jesus being all knowing or not all knowing would prove if he's a Muslim or not. Well, I, I, let's say like if we say he's not all knowing, meaning he's not God, like wouldn't that put him more aligned with like him being a Muslim? Nope, because he can. There's a lot of people that are not all knowing and not God, who are not Muslim. You know, so we have to prove that Jesus Himself is a Muslim. However, you would like to substantiate that, you know. Mm, I see. Um, so, is there like a video on your YouTube channel I can look for the answer? If Jesus is a Muslim? No, no, the one about uh, not knowing the hour. Yeah, if you go to uh, my first engagement with Uthman, go to my first engagement with Uthman, he raised that question up to me, and okay. uh, I, I answered him there. The very first time that I, the very first uh, video that I have with him. Go okay. all the way back to uh, Sheikh Uthman versus God Logic. I'll go look at uh, that. If I have uh, something, I'll come back. Okay. You don't, you don't want to touch on this? No, not really. I, uh, I'm busy right now. I'll come back. Okay. All right, take care. Good luck. All right. <clears throat> Logic, bro, let me buy you a camera. Just a lot. <laughs> Ryan, you want to bless me with a camera, bro? Bless me with a camera, man. Go ahead. I'll, I'll take it because uh, it is about that time for an upgrade. <laughs> it's time for an upgrade because, man, this is looking, looking pretty dingy. Uh, Zach, can you speak? I see that your mic is unmuted, but your mic is still not working, bro. You got to get that together. You got to get that together. Next. Oh, my gosh. Why? Bob, is that you? Yeah, that's me, yeah. I oh, told man. you it was that. I told you it was Bob Logic. He even yeah, tried I'm to Bob. say it was a different Bob in the chat, too. So well, who's this? No, what's, I what's this? Like the same name. What's this other Bob? No, I don't know. I don't know who's the other Bob, but it's the same Bob that, oh. you know. So is somebody, trying to, imper is somebody trying to impersonate you? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it's the same Bob here, Avery, you normally speak with. You know? Okay. Well, we know this Bob for sure. Yeah, we know this Bob. All right, so, we, voice? Yeah, we, lo we love your voice, man. It's very unique, you know, very <laughs> gentle. You know what I'm saying? People people scared of you. You know what I'm saying? You'd be having life running on his streams. I, so. I, told, I told him that earlier. Oh, come oh, on, Ryan, Avery. Ryan, are you serious? Hold on, hold on. Because uh, Ryan is, is... Ryan, if you're serious, uh, if you're serious, man, yeah, just... Um, if you can message... Just message me. Email me, Ryan. Email me and we could talk. We could talk. That, 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 would, that's, <laughs> that would be crazy. That would be amazing. But um, okay, so I'm gonna try Zach again as well. Zach. Oh, I tell you what, that's a that's a different Bob, Avery. That's a different Bob. So it's not, it's not you. Me. Huh? No, 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 it's yeah, not clearly, me. Yeah, clearly it's not you. Yeah, because he's writing. I'm not writing down. Can we? Right. Uh, I don't know if we could have two Bobs on the panel at the. Exact well, we'll see. Time. We'll, we'll we? see if this Bob is a real Bob. Let's see, or uh, another Bob, another real Bob. Hey, life, are you there? Life, you on the mic? Dude, life is useless. Yeah. What's up? I right, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm eating. eating. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Other Bob, how are you? Can you speak? Yeah. Hello. No, not you, Bob. The other one. Oh, okay. 
We're going to call that one that just spoke Bob Logic because that's what. Yeah, that's Bob was. Logic. That's Bob yeah. Logic. All right, so the not Bob Logic. Can you speak? What's with Muslims coming up here wanting to come up on stage talking all yeah, types of stuff? probably a troll. All right, so Bob, you want to get in on this challenge, man? You have a fear. You have a free chance to get in on this challenge to prove that Jesus was a Muslim. It's all you. Okay. Buddy. You're up to about seventeen hundred bucks. Go ahead. Okay. Bismillah. Now, Jesus is a Muslim because he submitted his will uh, to Allah. He submitted to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Okay. Uh, as you can clearly say, as you can clearly see in the Bible, constantly Jesus is talking about worship God alone. Pray to God, you know all these things like Muslims preach. You know what I mean. So, um, in in that understanding, comes to the idea that obviously the Quran also states he's a Muslim as well. So if you connect the Quran and the Bible, then you come to know Jesus was a Muslim. This is where I get this idea from. He's a Muslim. Got it. Um, so where do you where do you uh, get this from that Jesus submitted him his his will to Allah? Uh, the Quran says that. Um, but how do you, how do you prove? How do you oh, prove that, though? Yeah, I'm going. Let me just finish. Yeah, the Quran says uh, he was a prophet and a messenger, which means uh, he was sent by God to guide people. So indirectly, that states he was somebody that submitted. And the Quran also calls him a Muslim as well. The Bible, there's a Bible there where it says uh, Jesus submitted to God, to God's will. Okay. So to that, in my understanding, to that, that the is, Bible. Uh, yes, the Bible. Oh, oh, yes, supports. Oh, okay, so you're saying that Jesus is a Muslim in the Bible? Yes, he's a Muslim. But now, even though the Bible scriptures have been twisted, my mm -hmm. understanding, he's a Muslim because he submitted to the God of Abraham, the one true okay. God of Abraham, and the one true God of Abraham uh, is sent. Yeah, go got on. It. Got no, I, I got you. So. Uh, he submitted to God in the Bible, um, and so therefore he's a Muslim. Now, let me ask you this: Does it, does anyone who submit their will to God is that do they qualify to be a Muslim? If they submit to the God of Abraham, yeah, completely. The God of Abraham specifically. Oh, got it. The God of Abraham specifically. Yes, yes, okay, good. Yes. Good. Okay, yes. cool. So you're saying that Jesus submitted to the God of Abraham in the Bible. Now. What did uh what did Jesus teach about this God of Abraham in the Bible? He teach he teach people to believe in God. Taught. As it, yeah, well he taught people to believe in God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He clearly stated that God obviously he quoted Moses being one of the prophets. So if he is quoting Moses, so he's indirectly accepting Moses as a prophet of God. And Moses, no, like, what, you know, what, what did he what did he teach? Not not about Moses. What did he teach about God when he came down? What did he teach about God? He taught about the oneness of God, okay, and to love with God with your whole heart, yeah, and to follow His commandment. Uh, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Did he? Okay, good. Did he also teach that God is the Father? Um, the Bible does say that, yeah. So Jesus teaches that God is the Father. I mean, the Bible does say that, yeah, yeah. So if Jesus is teaching, if Jesus Everything. is teaching that God, if Jesus is teaching that God is the Father, is that what Muslims teach? Is that a Muslim now, belief? We don't believe that, but however, however, there's nothing wrong with us seeing God as our Father, not like. Literally, but it's not for because he's our parent. There's nothing wrong with that. Avery. Where does the Quran say that you're, uh, that Allah is your parent? It doesn't have to say it, but with, so then without, why are you making so why are you making up stuff? I'm not making it up. I'm just saying, as a Muslim, yeah, we can see God as our father in the sense. Sorry, um, as our parent in the sense that He created us. So you can you show can you show me that? Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but can you show me that that is an Islamic belief? That that is a Muslim belief that God is your father because he's your creator? It doesn't have to, Avery. And you have to remember, yeah, this, this father is actually, like, you have to remember this father is actually in the sense like spiritually. You know what I mean? Spir so yeah. Spiritually. yeah, spiritually, yes. Can you, yeah. look, look, Bob, Bob, I understand everything you're saying. As a matter of fact, you're, te you're, te you're teaching me Christian doctrine. That's what you're teaching me. 
You're teaching me Christian doctrine, not Muslim doctrine. That's why I'm asking you, can you show me in Muslim doctrine what you're saying is the case? That what you're saying is the case. Can you show me from a from Muslim, from the Muslim doctrine that Allah is your father in a spiritual sense? In a spiritual sense, that he is your creator, that he is your parent, that he looks over you, and that he sees you as his as his children, and you can come to him as a father in that sense. Can oh, you show Avery, me that? Avery, Avery, I've just demonstrated to you metaphorically. We can see that in yeah, God. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's not a problem. Now, in yeah. the Bible, hang on, hang on, hang on. In the Bible, how many people are um, called sons of God? Hold Why on, were they on, called? Wait, wait, wait! God? Don't, don't, don't run to the Bible yet, because you made a claim about what is okay in Islam. I'm going to put a verse up from the Quran, and I want you. I want, you, and uh, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna read the Quran. Hopefully, like the Quran has the standard, right? The Quran is yes, the standard? That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, the Quran is the standard. So we're going to go with what the Quran says, not what someone else makes up. So yeah, let's go. go. to the Quran. We go to the Quran. This is what it says in the Quran. And so if you believe the opposite of what the Quran says here, I want you to show me where in the Quran it teaches what you're saying. So this says... There is none in the heavens and the earth, but comes to the most beneficent, Allah, as a slave. You can't come to him as a son, can't come to him as a daughter, can't come to him as a child. You can only come to him as a slave. That's can right. you show me? Okay, you said that's right. Good. Can you come to Allah as a son or a daughter? metaphorically spiritually can you come to him in any sense as a child as his child yes or no um well there's nowhere it states mm -hmm. that in islam um about that but um however in islam to see god as our parent metaphorically is allowed because in the sense he created us avery you know Where what I'm do, talking about. I, I, look, look bob you repeating that point there's no okay there's no way Okay, there's no way it says that in Islamic teaching. Thank you. So, okay, so it's not in Islamic teaching that you can see God as your father. So if that's not in Islamic teaching, where are you getting this from? Where? Because in the sense like God created us, we can see in that sense. We could use our common sense to know that. But it doesn't mean literally. Bob logic. No. Bob logic, that's where you're getting it from. It's Bob... <laughs> it's Bob Bob logic. Logic. <laughs> oh man, Bob, you I love you, bro. I really do. Okay, Bob. So um, so I'm gonna go with your understanding now, right? So you can be a a son of God in a spiritual sense. This is obviously not as as you said, it's not an Islamic teaching. No, it's uh, not, yeah. Right, but this is a biblical teaching. It's a biblical teaching, not an Islamic teaching. So if you have where Jesus is coming to saying that God is his father, right? Like, for example, um, is God the father of Jesus? Let's ask that. Is he the father of Jesus? Not physically, no. Well, no one believes that God is. Well, I mean, I, I can't say no one because you talk about Salafi Muslims. They believe Allah is physical, but no, no sane person believes that God is Physical. He doesn't have a physical he's not, nature. He's not, or essence. He, he's not Jesus' father, then, is he? If he's not physically, he's not well, his father, you, then, you, 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 go ahead, Chris. Just answer the question, Bob. <laughs> I'm answering the question. He knows that. I'm answering the question. I'm well, just so saying. I'm you, just saying. Yeah, spiritually, doesn't mean physically. So there's therefore Jesus is impossible to be the Son of God. Impossible. Oh, well, well he's, it's impossible for him to be the Son of God in a physical sense right because god is not physical he doesn't have sex and then ha uh, give birth right exactly yeah okay so that sense is out as you know christians okay, don't believe brilliant. that okay brilliant. Cool. Brilliant. so but so now <laughs> is is god the father of jesus no you said no yes i said that it's not it's not a part of jesus Did, no. you really okay. said no no it's okay yes. <laughs> He's like, he said no so when jesus says that god is his own father 
Like uh, he teaches that in the Bible, right? Yeah. Okay. So Jesus teaches that God is his own father. Is this an Islamic teaching? No. So if Jesus is teaching that he that God, that he is God's own son, then he's not a Muslim, correct? No, 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 no. Because what what you Christians do, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. what, this is this is what this is when the Quran comes in when he says the Bible or the Christian scriptures which they have. There's some truth and falsehood in it. So we wait, 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 wait. Where does the Quran say that the books that they have? There's some truth in it and there's some falsehood in it. Where does it say that? Because that's what it is. No, you said that the Quran says that in our books, there's truth and there's falsehood in it. Show me where the Quran says that. Oh, oh okay. Show you where it says that. Okay. Yes. You, Bob, why are you like surprised at how this goes? <laughs> no, I mean, no, I did not understand your other question, the first question. That's why. Um, okay. So you said where where does it say? Okay, one second. I got um, your uh, I got your email, Ryan. I'm gonna message you as soon as we uh we get done. I'll text you. And also, thank you, David, for joining uh joining becoming a patron. Thank you so much, guys. Also, yeah, if you guys want to uh, support the ministry, the all my links are in the description. Uh, it's because of you that I'm able to do this. On a, a more grander scale now, and you know, uh, do better things, do more things, and I cannot wait to really show you guys the fruit of this labor. But man, uh, you know, life knows he's excited. We're both excited about it. Um, so I want to just thank you guys. So please, you know, for those who want, who have the heart to give, by all means, go ahead and give as you as your heart sees fit. You become a Patreon, become a patron. Um, and I really appreciate it. So I just want to say thank you for that. Thank you, David. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Praise God. All right, Bob, you got it? Yeah, I got it here. Yeah. All right. So show me, yeah, where the where the verse says that yeah. there's some truth in it, yeah. And then there's yeah. also some falsehood. Yeah. In the NGO. Hang on. Anyway, just give me other time, I'm just okay, go ahead. Um, it says here, I woe to those who write the book with their own hands and then say this is from Allah and sell it for a paltry price. Woe to them for what their hands have written. Woe to them for what they have earned. Okay. Where does it say anything about the Torah or the gospel being rewritten or being corrupted where there's truth in it and there's some falsehood in it? Where does the Quran say that? All right, in our interpretation, this is referring uh, to the uh, uh, <laughs> so, so can I give you an interpretation from Ibn Abbas? Sorry? Can I give you an interpretation from Ibn Abbas? If you want, go ahead. It's up to you. Ibn, Ibn Abbas says that none can change the words of Allah. No one can remove a single word from any of his books, but that ah, they only distort with their but that they only distort with their tongues. And they distort the interpretations. That's what Ibn Abbas right. says. Hey, Mr. Okay. Avery, how many can change the words of Allah by mm -hmm. Ibn Abbas? Not a single person. Hmm. Right. And my understanding right. about this is that when what Allah revealed, Avery, listen to me carefully, please, all of I'm you. I'm listening carefully. What? Okay, listen, I'm listening carefully. <laughs> <laughs> whatever Allah, whatever Allah revealed. Whether you try to change it or not, it won't change because this is what Allah decreed. Whatever Allah decreed, okay. Now Allah can reveal, and then you can write it down in the book, and people start changing the book. But whatever Allah reveals, yeah, you cannot mm. change it. It's like you, Avery, giving me a message, yeah, and say to me, "This is the message." It doesn't change, and then later people go and change it. It's not you that changed it; it's the person that changed it. So it this was changed. So it was changed, right? No, but what God said is not changed. What, what what is written is changed, but what God said does not change. It stays like that. So it's possible for the Quran to be corrupted too? Nope. <laughs> Never. Okay. No, uh, I'm talking about, no I'm way, no, no hang on, hang on. No, no, no. You did not wow. understand what I said. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Let me, let me clarify. Let me, no, let me, let me clarify. Bob, Bob, let me clarify. Bob, let me clarify my question to you. Okay, First, go on, yeah. thank, thank you, Spark, for the super chat. Spark Apologetics. God bless, God bless you. God bless you. 
Um, let me clarify my question to you. My question is, can the Quran also be corrupted? The book, can someone corrupt and change the Quran, the physical Quran? Yes, the writings, yes. No, they, can change, they can change the writings. Okay, yes, they can't yes, change. Yes. They can't change the message of the Quran. Yeah, that's right. That's why we, we memorize it. That's why we memorize the Quran. That's mm. one of the reasons behind it. Well, <laughs> it, well, well, Ibn Abbas doesn't say that. Ibn Abbas says that none of the words can be changed from any of his books. Right. This is what I, I don't think you understand what, what Ibn Abbas I, was saying. I, if you're I think writing, it's pretty clear. Right. If, if we, we have to Avery, we have to interpret an interpretation. Avery. The book of Allah, the word of Allah, if you're writing it, has to be correct what Allah revealed to you. This is what Ibn Abbas is talking about in that sense, not in the sense people making mistakes. It's saying verbal, like verbatimly, whatever God revealed, it has to be put in the book. This is why we Muslims memorize well, it. This well, is Ibn, why Abbas, Ibn Abbas says that the only way that they distort the books is by their tongues and by distorting the interpretations, not by going, it's, this is why we understand what Ibn Abbas says, no one can go in any of Allah's books and change them, change any word, they only distort the meanings and distort with their tongues, not with well, their I'll hands. Disagree, I'll, I'll disagree with you because- That's what Ibn Abbas said, you don't disagree with me, you okay. disagree with Ibn Abbas. You're forget about Ibn, forget the about Ibn Abbas. Listen, he said, Avery, he this is what you do, Avery. This is what you do. You always go to these. Listen oh, to oh, me, Avery. what I'm saying. Listen to me, please. Big, Big now, Brother Scott wouldn't have this. <laughs> all right, Avery, can you tell him to stop interrupting, please? Because what, what's what's I, wrong, Bob? What, what what do I always do? Uh, no, no, not you. The other guy. No, you not said you, you said guy. Avery. This is what you do. You said Avery. This is what you always do. Yeah. So what what do no, I always do? because like look. For the scholars, yeah, I absolutely admire them. But if you're talking to me, let me explain. Let me explain my own way, okay? You do explain your own way, and then I challenge your own way and show you where you okay, let disagree me, let with me your explain. own scholars. Explain. How do I know? How do I know God's words change? Now, in the Quran, me and you already went through this already about this. In the Quran, it says Aaron did not create the golden calf. In the Bible, it says that. That clearly indicates to me the Bible has been changed because there's a contradiction there. So you see where I'm coming from, Avery. <laughs> <laughs> That's your okay. So listen, I'm man. Over um, here. I'm dying over here, Bob. You're right. We we've been through this already, and I think that that's kicking a dead horse. Uh, so uh, I, I'm gonna try to try to navigate this back to um, your proof that Jesus was a Muslim. You quoted the Bible. And then when we get into the Bible about what Jesus taught about God and how he taught uh, a completely anti-Islamic view of God and himself, that that proves that he's not a Muslim. But then all of a sudden the book is corrupted. But right. I'm only I'm, I'm, I'm literally I'm literally talking. To, OK, let, how about we do this? What is a true verse in the Bible that you believe te teaches that Jesus was a Muslim? Give me one true unfabricated verse in the Bible. That you can point to and say, see, this is proof that Jesus was a Muslim. One unequivocal okay. statement. Do you, believe, do you believe Jesus preached the don't oneness ask, of God? Don't ask me what I believe. I'm asking for you to pick any verse in the Bible that you deem is good, that you deem is not fabricated, and we'll stick to that verse. So go ahead. Okay. Now, okay. There's a verse there where it says, um, hang on. I think I found it. One second. John 17, 3. Read it out, please. <laughs> All right. That they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Yep. This is exactly Tawheed that Muslims are teaching. But you Christians are saying three gods. Where does it say three gods? There? Wait, 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 wait a second. So Islam teaches that the way to gain eternal life is to, be, is to know God the Father and to know Jesus Christ, whom he sent, that's the way to eternal life? That's what Islam I mean, teaches? During during Jesus' time, he was the prophet sent. Yeah, so yeah. Well, well, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Does Islam teach that the way to gain eternal life is to know God the Father and Jesus Christ, whom he sent? That, yeah, that's, that's the that's, way to eternal life. That's one of the conditions, yeah, because we believe in Jesus oh, and we believe in one God. Man. Oh, this is a man. new Islam that Bob makes up. 
Mm. I love when you make your own. Are you Islam. saying are you saying we don't believe in Jesus? Muslims don't believe in Jesus? I didn't sure. ask that. I asked, yeah. is Jesus is knowing Jesus and knowing God the Father the way to gain eternal life? No, 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 one through God. One true God. Uh, ah, so you see there, even in the verse that you quoted, you even isolate a part of the verse that's that you feel is Islamic, but you ignore the part where Jesus is talking about the Father and says that this the, the only way to eternal life is to know God the Father as the yeah. one true God, right? Yeah, and yeah. Jesus Christ, whom he sent. So yes, you I have to that, that. So Jesus is part of the is part of the equation of eternal life. Do you is that an Islamic teaching? Um, as soon as human beings are born, are created, yes, they're eternal. Is that not true? Where yeah, Bob, in the world? Oh, I, I, got, wait, I got, I got, I got to address wait, this. I got to address wait. this, Bob. Bob is that not true, second, Avery? Just a second, Bob. Just a second. Avery just asked you a question like, "What is one plus one?" And you said, "I just went to McDonald's and got a cheeseburger." You definitely <laughs> answered a question. You just didn't answer or even come close to the question that God Logic asked. You. Did you, yeah, you on, realize that? Yeah, let's um let me let me check somebody. Uh Omar, can you turn your camera on and show your face? Only I can see it. I need to make sure it's you, bro. Oh, careful, Wait. careful, Avery. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Bob, I'm gonna move on, man. I can't do this anymore. Peace out, Bob. Bye. What's up, Omar? What's up, brother? Nothing much, man. Nothing much. Good to see you, man. Good to hear your voice. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, I just want to draw up real quick until I get my next call. But um, yeah, okay. yeah I just want to... it's always exciting, man. I always tell myself I'm not going to join, but I end up joining. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to... Uh, it's it's you know how fun, to right? Pull us into battle. That's, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. yeah. That's, there you go. So look, man. Look, look, look. You're, you know, good and well that you're always welcome on the panel. Always. Yes. You know, so anytime you want to chat, chop it up, man, and enter the, yes. enter the fray, you're more than welcome, all right? No, absolutely, so, man. Yeah, for me, mm -hmm. I, I don't see, like, Christian versus Muslim, or even when people come up to me asking questions, I mm -hmm. never see, like, me versus you. I always see, like, me, us, Christians, and Muslims together trying to find, you know, some kind of commonality, some kind of peace, something together to find the truth. Because okay. you're right or I, or we're right. You know what I mean? If you guys have the peace, I would like to come there. Or, or if I have the peace, I will, hopefully I'm, I'm hoping that you guys are um, open, you know, open minded to come, you know, to our side. I am as I am, I am so open minded, Omar, that I am offering up some a cash money prize to give to the specific Muslim or if they want us to give it to a charity or something to whatever Muslim can show me. That Jesus was a Muslim, like prove to me that Jesus was a Muslim. If they can do that, I got I'm open to believing and say, yeah, Jesus was a Muslim. You know? All right. All right. So 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 fantastic. So if we go by the Bible, you're if that's your playing field, right? You guys, you guys are gonna say we don't believe in the Quran. So I could prove it from the Quran, right? But obviously, if you go by the Bible, that's your playing field, you're gonna say no, we go by the Bible, then you're gonna prove me wrong. And if with that standard, not necessarily. No, it's, it's not like this, Omar. So this is how this is how I'm doing it. Okay, I I'm I'm not my beliefs, my personal beliefs, mm -hmm. my personal convictions yeah. have nothing to do with this. It has nothing to do with this. It's I, I'm stepping out of a Christian mind and just okay. offering this challenge from a historical perspective, right? So mm -hmm. if, when the Quran makes a claim about Jesus, obviously it does. It says that. He believed mm -hmm. in Allah and all this kind of mm -hmm. stuff. He didn't tell people to worship him, all this kind of stuff, right? It makes yes. clear statements like this. Okay, cool. Yeah. Quran so, 1930 and 1935. Exactly. So in the Quran, Jesus was a Muslim, mm -hmm. but that's just a yeah. claim because the Quran mm -hmm. comes 600 years later talking mm -hmm. about a person that lived in the first century. So my, my thing is, okay, there's the claim in the Quran. Mm -hmm. Now prove it. Prove okay. historically that Jesus was a Muslim. All right, sounds good. So, so, so basically, according to what you just said, but what, so you're using the, the years, right? So, you're, so you're basically saying because Muhammad came 600 years after, you don't want to believe in what his message, basically. No, it's it's that the, Muhammad is making a claim about about a historical person, and so if we go back and look at what this historical person taught, what he preached, how he lived. 
then we should see the examples of him being a Muslim, teaching that he's a, like teaching the concept of the Muslim God, you mm -hmm. know, uh, you know, be, that he's a Muslim. That's what we should see when we go back to the first century and study mm -hmm. this person. We should see proof that he was a Muslim. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you're just going by that standard, if you look at the Athanasius Creed, right, in 500 AD as uh, the Trinity. 500? So what do you, Yeah. Okay, so go, go on. What's your... Um, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So, so basically, you guys believe 500. that one divine being divided into three divided persons, right? The Father is God, the Son no, is God. We, no, we, we, God, right? we believe... No, we don't believe they're divided or any parts. We, we, we don't believe in that at all, but... How, how, what what does what does you don't you don't believe that the Trinity is real or that the Trinity is in the Bible? So, like that yes. that doesn't that doesn't help. That has nothing to do with what I'm asking. You know whether no, no, whether I the Trinity. I, no, no, no I, sorry, I meant because okay. you, because you said because because the Trinity that you believe in came 500 AD, 500 years after Jesus. You can you can say that that's false, but mm -hmm. that doesn't help the point. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't yeah. help. Okay, okay, it then. doesn't answer me. Let, Let's get into it. Okay, so you're talking about Jesus being a Muslim. So, for example, if you look at my, uh, uh, so one one of the things of debunking that Jesus is not God or not the Son of God um, is because is is that is is him being part of this Trinity. That that's part of it, right? Him not being the Son of God. He, obviously, in Islam, we believe. So, I like something that you said going back to the um, going back to the original, right? Going back to the original scripture. Going back to let's take it back to to even even before the Bible, or, or, or before your Bible was even written, there was, there was a, a, one of the major church fathers against the heresy, Justin Martyr. He was talking about a group called the Ebionites. Oh, no, you got to stop this. You got to stop this. You, you're saying that the early church father, Justin Martyr, before our scriptures <clears> were written. <throat> Come on now. You can't just be putting out lies like that. And, no, and no, 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 no. Listen to what I said. I did not say that, my friend. No, Justin Martyr was after. I know. I get it. That's not what I said. I said he was writing about a group who lived before around 70 AD against the heresies. I didn't say Justin Martyr. Obviously, yeah, he's in 150 AD or whatever he was. You, you guys know better. I'm talking about a group against that he wrote about uh, against the heresies, a group called the, the Ebionites, which means Ebion, to be poor, aesthetic. These people did not believe. These people were around 70 AD, 30 years, 40 years after Jesus left this world. And they believed. And they believe Jesus was not God, what how Islam believes, the Islamic belief, and they believe that he was a messenger of God. They so didn't have an taking... Islamic belief. Say that again? But they didn't have an Islamic belief. But that's, that, that's not it, the Islamic it, belief. What does Jesus being God have to do with you proving that Jesus was a Muslim? I thought that's what you were trying to do. That's you that's keep going back to Jesus being God. That that that's that's a big part of it. So Jesus. Is, so, so it's all about what Jesus said and not said. So you guys are saying that Jesus kind of, you know, he, in, the, in the beginning, right? He was slowly starting off, and then he's getting more powerful as as the Bible progresses. Then, he, and then John begot. The that's son not. Of God. That's that's not our that's not our position at all. In the earliest gospel, it says that I think I showed you this last week. Oh, yeah, you, did you, actually, did. you showed. Yeah, yeah, you did. Thanks for that. You, it was actually I looked it up, bro. It was a yeah. it was a fabricated verse. Mark. It's not a. It's not a fabricated verse. Uh, it's not a fabricated verse at all. Was not in the Codex Sinaiticus. Prove it to me right now. Wait, wait, wait. So uh, and, you're and saying I'll you're, you, you're, and I'll give you seventeen hundred dollars. Wait, wait, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Let, let me show you something, bro. I'm about to show the you first, something. That, you quote that's... it to me. I looked no, it up. Hold on. It's okay. I told you. I'm the one who showed you this. That there's a textual variant there. Well, the no, textual variant no, doesn't no, doesn't no, doesn't, no, doesn't do any. You're, you're thinking of okay. Else. Okay. So watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Just watch this. Okay. Go ahead. Watch this, Omar. Let it be clear. No, it's okay. It's okay. Well, don't it's cut okay. me off, brother. Because it's I'm okay. getting this. <laughs> Why are you cutting me off? Because Mark no, no, no. Because I, I want to, I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Testament scholars. I want to show you something. Whatever you show me, brother, it's not going to prove what uh, uh, a a no, bar. You, you, you said you said the earliest. You said the earliest gospels progressed to teach that Jesus is the Son and stuff like that. It's not in the earliest, right? Uh, yeah. So kinda, I showed you kinda. this verse. No, no, I showed no, you this verse. Yeah, Mark we're talking about Mark. One. This is Mark. This is Mark chapter one, verse one, the Son of God. And there's a textual yeah. variant there where in some manuscripts yeah. it doesn't have exactly. the Son of God, right? Exactly. Now, yes. When we keep reading, when we keep reading, let's see if Mark chapter one teaches that Jesus is the Son. Let's see here. 
that's fine. But I'm talking about, we're talking about Mark 1 1 yeah, right wait, wait, now, wait. right? In those so days, no, no, we're talking, second. we're talking, no, we're talking about the earliest gospels. So you're saying, yeah. well, you, you made the claim that the earliest right. gospels did not teach that Jesus was the son of God, that this stuff progressed in John. No, 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 not necessarily. No, 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 no. Actually, no, not, not, not necessarily. That's I, I, exactly I said, what you said. I said, no, no, but it, even, even if so, even the, the, if you look at the story between the centurion and, and no, no, Jesus. No, 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 focus here. No, we're not going to a different story. Focus. No, no, I'm not. Focus. I'm, I'm a son of God. Guys, guys, guys. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm so focus. I'm on the topic. Don't Omar, worry Omar, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. You made a we're claim. I'm a son of God, about, right? You want me to respond? Yes, or? just slow down, though. Slow down. You made a claim I have a lot about the earliest there. Gospels, did you not? <laughs> this was our last debate. Uh, uh, yeah, you, so no, ahead, no, I'm talking ahead. about what you just said five minutes ago. Five minutes ago, you said that the earliest Gospels did not teach that Jesus was the Son of God. This stuff progressed in the Gospel of John. Did you not say that? The main claim, um, I said that last time. Yeah, and then right now I said something very, very similar to that. Um, okay, but, so I'm, let me I'll, just ask you straight up. Let me just ask you straight up. Go ahead, Do go the ahead. earliest gospels, like Mark, teach that Jesus is the Son of God? Yes or no? So, so, so you have to go. And what does that mean? Like, what does that mean? So, so it's not as we, the Father, oh, look, we can the go. God look, of our Father, we can look. We can go into what it means. Sure. Next, but yeah. do the earliest but, gospels just answer this? Does the yeah. earliest gospel Mark teach that Jesus is the Son of God? Uh, depends on what they meant at that time with the Son of God. Does it teach that He's the Son of God in any sense? Go ahead. Tell me. Okay. Yeah. Is that you saying that you don't know? I'm saying I'm saying that what I read from Mark, it, it doesn't mean like 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 the way you guys. I didn't, we're we're, we're going to talk like about the, the meaning the next, yeah, yeah. my friend. So, yeah. We're going to talk about the meaning next. Yeah. All I'm asking is, does the gospel of Mark mm -hmm. teach that Jesus is the son of God in some sense? It, yeah, it does. It does. Okay, beautiful. But, yeah, we have yeah. a verse okay, right here. Go. Chapter because one. In the beginning, you, you don't word it like that. Yeah. I did. I did for it. You did. Okay. Maybe. I, maybe I didn't catch it. Then that's my <laughs> fault. Go ahead. And I'm, <laughs> okay. Now we can. Now. Now we can go into what Jesus means okay. by. But again. But God. again. Uh, Avery, just to preface this, this goes back to. I'm not saying that the Bible is a book of monotheism, but this is why the Quran and the Bible they work together. So all, all the places all right. that. If there's holes, the Quran fills that. So, for example, do you believe the Quran Solomon? doesn't say that? The Quran Solomon, doesn't say that uh, in the Quran, chapter five. Mohammed, remember we brought it last time. Do you yeah, believe guardian, Solomon was not, a, a yeah, gar guardian, uh, not not criteria, not judge, not sifter, not Mohammed, one who comes in. Guardian, like a master, like a caretaker. No, so not master, believe, not anything. Guardian, my friend. Do you would you go to a church seminar run by a guy who believes in idols or an adulterer? Or someone who slept with his daughter, or who, who drank alcohol. Would you go to a, a priest? Uh, what, what do you guys call it? Sunday service. Would you let him baptize you if he believed in idols? If he did adultery, had had the general's uh, uh, thing killed? Would you go and 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 sit in the service? Uh, no, I wouldn't. No. And this is why. Let me tell you why. Because Jesus, our standard, not this man who uh, is a is full of sin, is sinful. Jesus okay. is our standard, and He's the one that we follow. So Fantastic. when we look at when we look at Jesus, we see what Jesus taught about Himself, and we see where Jesus taught about what it means that He is the Son of God. Would you like to go into that? But but yes, of course. But remember, so I'm not talking about men, but these are prophets. This is your Bible saying this stuff. Yeah, our prophets, prophets are men. I know that. I know that in Islam, you guys deify these prophets as if they don't sin or make mistakes. But in no, the Bible, no, these prophets are just men who are full second, of sin, second, just like us. You, you just made a claim that deify where? Where in the Quran they say that we do not deify you, any prophets? You, you just, you just, you just, I just heard you. I just, just heard you. Shama. Yeah, I just heard you. You well, said, you, I just heard you. You talk about just men. These are prophets that you're talking about. Exactly. You just said prophets, that. Right. So are, are, are prophets models. above men? Are they above men? Our role models. What's better for you to follow a prophet? Wait, who says that a prophet is your role model? Allah says in all the books, well, then who is, well, then why did, why did God send them? No, in the Old Testament, no, the no, Testament. nowhere, nowhere. Oh, can you show me where it says in the Bible that a prophet is your role model? What our model, our, mo our, okay, our model is Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll show you many of that God sent to Abraham or all of these prophets to learn from them. in, in No, 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 no. Where does the Bible say that your pro a prophet is your role model? I'm sending you as to be a role model for these people. Where does it say that? 
Are you talking about the Bible or the Quran? In the Bible. The, they are here to show us guidance, my friend. If you look I know at the, the Bible, I know the claim. I hear the and claim. And never will the Jews and Christians approve of you until you follow their religion. Say, indeed, the guidance of Allah is just the, the guidance. If you that, were to follow their the desires. Book, the Quran. That's so the wrong book, Omar. What, <laughs> what are you asking? Are you asking the Bible? Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. How, how about we skip this? Because we'll, we, we, like this is just another rabbit trail. Just focus on what we're talking about now. Okay, can you, can you, can we go back to what we're so, talking oh, about? So, one okay? second, one second. Oh, yeah, well, Omar, one second since you asked Omar. that. Timothy, Timothy, too, you asked for the Bible. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man. The we're going to have to get him Jesus. some riddling. The Calm man Christ Jesus. For the next Timothy 2 5. <laughs> right, wait, wait, wait. He just quoted, he just quoted a beautiful verse. Yes. What, what, what is the reason why you quoted that verse? Because you're talking about who is the mediator between between human beings and mankind, <laughs> between Allah, between God, or I didn't, I didn't, is that what I, is that what I asked? Our, is that is he that never said asked? that? <laughs> Say that again. He never that, said that. Where did you even get that from? He's never well, said that. <laughs> he never said what? He never said what you just said about mediators. He never mm. said anything about mediators. This is our belief from the Quran that they're guidance. So I'm using the the closest uh, Bible verse that I have that says that this is the that Allah sent these people at. at. So you guys don't believe that prophets are. Supposed I don't to think be role models. I don't think Omar is even listening to what you're saying, Avery. I think he's got like a. I think <laughs> he's, he's having a conversation with himself, bro. <laughs> I think he literally wrote down like a whole opening thing, and he's just going. Piece by no. piece, right? Like, it doesn't matter what you say, it's just going right to the next. Avery yeah. asked me about prophets, right? Or no, did he not ask me about the prophets? I asked you, I, I asked you to show me in the Bible where it says that the prophets are supposed to be your role models. That's what I asked. I didn't ask to show me where Jesus is our mediator. Amen to that, by the way. Okay. That's, okay. And, and by the way, that's, yeah, that's not in the Bible, and that's, I'm and not, that's not an Islamic teaching. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So, so you guys, so you guys don't take prophets as your role models, and so we do in Islam. We take, okay, we ahead, take, we take, we take Jesus as our role model, not not anybody else. Jesus is our standard. Nobody else. Moses failed. David failed. Uh, Job failed. Uh, Isaiah had, was a mouth of uh, a man of unclean lips. All of these prophets failed, where Jesus was the only one who was perfect and without sin, and He is the founder of our faith. Not anyone. We else. take we take Amen. the life we take the life of these men, prophets, and stories that we see in the Bible as lessons, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's interesting, man. Because what? Because we yeah we we have a very special reverence for our prophets. I know. Yeah, uh, yeah. You so you revere them too much. They're just men like you. They yeah, are men, they they but they're our role models. So we have. Yeah, but they don't they don't make mistakes in your religion though, right? No, no, they, they do. They, they do make mistakes. And not only that, Allah corrected Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi in the Quran. Allah corrected him. There we go. All right. All right. Cool. All right. I feel you on that. We talked yeah, to so, a few Muslims and they, and they, and they say otherwise, but, oh, but I'm, glad like, that you, I'm glad that you understand that your prophets you, can't make mistakes. You, you they can make the mistakes, yeah, for sure, but not you the, asked them the things, wrong. Like you shit. asked them the wrong question. What's the yeah. question? Can prophets sin? Yeah, mm. yeah like, like I said, so our Aqidah faith, they're not going to go into major sins. Okay. They are human beings. They are prophets. Obviously, they, we, so we don't believe make, they're angels. So but they're not going to minor sins. sins. Like the Bible. Yeah, I, I, like I told you, uh, there was a blind man who came to the prophet and he was busy giving da'wah. He was in a very heated uh, debate with the mushriks, with the polytheists of, of, in Mecca. And he turned the, the blind man away. Yeah, he made a mistake. Allah, Allah corrected our prophets. Do you, do, you son, th do, you think, do you think that it's a major sin to speak the words of Satan? Uh, no. you think the major sin to that's speak a little the one. words of Satan. Um, if yeah, I guess that's an interesting question. What the are Quran, how do you know the words of Satan? Is, is maybe I, I would ask that next. Uh, you wouldn't know until unless Allah and Jabril came and fixed it for you, you know, like Allah would and, and Jabril would come and say, Hey, uh, you spoke the words of Satan, these are not God's words, so we're about to fix it for you. You know, you spoke the words of Satan. Uh, you would have to give me a reference and I'll look into it. I, I'm not sure. So like, for example, you have chapter 22, verse 52 of the Quran. All right. Chapter 22, verse 52 of the Quran. Let me go back to, to the Quran. Oh, shoot. Give me back to the Quran. Yeah, 22, 52 of the Quran. 
You can see the screen, right? Yes, I see it, yeah. Okay, I'm about to pull up the verse. I'm going to let you read it, okay? Oh, this is going to be funny. All right, go ahead. Surat al-Hajj? Yes, 2252. It's okay. on the screen. Just go ahead and okay. read it on the screen. Okay, go ahead. I want, I want you to read it yourself. I've read it like a million times. I want you to read it for yourself. And we did not send before you any messenger or prophet except that when he spoke, Satan threw it, but Allah abolishes that which Satan throws in. Right? So, and so this so that Allah makes precise his verses and Allah is knowing and why. So you see here how it says that Muhammad, when he recited the revelation, there was a time Ooh, where he recited man, the revelation this, and he just spoke. Dig, you just dig yourself. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. I did? Yeah, because same thing happened to Jesus, too. But I'll in your Bible. We'll get into that. Go wow. ahead. Read it. So, yes. okay, we'll see. We'll on, see. On the mountain. We'll see. Go ahead. Read it, read it. We'll see. So, Satan uh, used Muhammad's tongue and Muhammad spoke the words of Satan, right? And then Allah came later and then fixed it, right? Oh, and you're throwing your own understanding not at all wow it's read the verse my friend it's in plain english and we do not send before uh, you any messenger or prophet except that when he spoke satan threw into it so so satan is is trying to throw but allah abolishes that which satan throws in no it doesn't allah say that he's trying to throw verses. yeah it doesn't say that he's trying to throw it says that he did that he threw some falsehood in it but okay. then allah abolishes he abolishes Fantastic. that which yes. Satan throws in. So guess what? So what? Satan throws it in. It what he throw? Mm -hmm. It makes it in there, but then okay. Allah comes and fixes it. Okay. So so Muhammad spoke yes. the words of Satan, and then Allah came and fixed it. Mm, no, um, you just skipped off the whole line and a half of the first. Uh, what do you uh, mean? What what I skip? What I skip? We did not send before you any or prophet except when he spoke. So this is not only for Muhammad. All the but just a second, Jesus. Just a second. All when the he, when he did recite the revelation, and we did not. Who is okay. that speaking of? Is of he who did recite the revelation? Who is the he that's being spoke of there? Who? Yeah. So when he spoke or or recited. So it's saying this is general. So this is about messengers and prophets, by the way. No, though he Allah is not. Allah the word one sec, one he second. Is, so if who's you're who's speaking, who am I speaking to? A, a bunch of Christians that are trying to find out no, no, the truth okay. here. No, I appreciate it. No, <laughs> but the word is the name? word no, is no, he. What's your name? So I know, so I know who I'm addressing. Oh, friend. Imam Chris Claus. Okay, I'm not going to call you Imam because you're a fake ass. Chris Claus, Santa Claus. I like that name. Messenger or prophet? No. In the beginning who is of the, the heat? verse, do you, do you know what the difference between a messenger and a prophet is? First, can of all, you just explain you who the that? heat? Can you explain who the heat is, please? Yes, but Allah is saying this all. So Satan's attacking all messengers and prophets. So a messenger and prophet, one is is uh, who gets a new book, and the other ones are just are just ones who are come coming to keep the same law of the previous messenger. So obviously, yeah. prophet so some was both a messenger and a prophet. Nabi and we know that who is the he? <clears throat> this is all messengers, including the prophet. Yeah, in this is including the prophet Muhammad. So no, the he he is the he is speaking about a specific prophet, or he would have said they. He said he. Who is the yeah. he? Okay, so when Allah says in the Quran that the, the, the people of Lot denied the message of the messengers with an S, does that mean there were more than one messenger sent to the people of Lot? Lut right. al -Islam? No. So same thing, yeah, I'm wait, telling you, yeah. God logic, not, I'll ask you include, the question this time. <laughs> this does include him. Does that make sense? This does include Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'm not saying it doesn't, but it includes all prophets and messengers. Okay. What does Al Jalalain say? So Jalalain says that this is specifically about Muhammad. <laughs> so Jalalain says, saying that he is Muhammad then. And we did not fine, send before Muhammad, you any message. That's fine. This is no, a no, prophet no, you, who you, has you, been commanded to deliver a message. Prophet Nabi, right? Yes, yada, yada, he's yada. included in this. Yes, I believe but that 100%. When, but that when he recited, yes. Satan cast into his recitation what is not from the Quran, but which those to whom he, the prophet, had been sent would find pleasing. The prophet 
had during an assembly of the men of Quraysh after Sisal, according to the top seer, this is specifically about Muhammad. And that's when he um, commands them to worship so, Alut Alas. Uh, Muhammad Alut, concluded, brother. Not. I mean, based uh, I feel Alut, what Alas, you and Manat, Sorry, the three. Okay, but, so uh, so no worry. So if uh, so, yeah. he's saying Muhammad is included. This happened to all the yes. prophets. Muhammad is exactly. included. Exactly. You and any so, messenger so or all, prophet. Yes. So all so all the prophets and messengers, all the prophets yes. and messengers, uh, yes. committed the major sin of speaking the words of Satan. Uh, no, what? How are you? At, how are you? Where, where does it say that? Committed the major sin. Hmm, I'm looking well, at so I, I asked you, I asked you, is it a major sin to speak the words of Satan? And you said yes. No, I, I said it depends. I, I didn't. I don't. I, even now, I don't. I don't no, you didn't say it depends. You said yes. No, I didn't. I said it depends. What What are the words of Satan? And how do you know what they are, basically? Is what yeah, you asking. said it was, a, it was a straight up yes. If it, yeah, it, it was it, it was a yes preface with okay. How do I know what are the words of Satan? How do we even know right. the words of Satan? And so, yes, and, yes, and yes, my yes. answer, right? Yeah, all right, cool. Mm -hmm. So I yes, will, it's a yes. major sin to speak the okay. words of Satan. Yeah. How would you know? Uh, yeah. When Allah co corrects uh, it, yeah. when He corrects uh, it, right? Are you going to read so, the next line too, or no? <laughs> well, he, he abolishes it. He, he abolishes it and makes his it makes his verses you know good and, and all, all that good stuff. Okay, we're being honest. So, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, we're being honest. So. So all the prophets, according mm -hmm. to your understanding of this, all the prophets committed mm -hmm. the major sin of uh, speaking the words of Satan. Okay, now me and you both were very, and when it comes to knowledge of Islam now, did I say that's a major sin? Like, the, yes, the, you the, did. that's what you specific. said. No, 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 yes, it's a sin. You guys, you guys are trying to get me into this. You guys got to look into what are the major sins in Islam. Oh, we, we got you on recording. <laughs> There you know, will be good. short know, but I'm telling you. of this, so yes, this is exactly what you said, yeah. because we were talking about the minor mistakes, the minor sins that prophets are allowed to do, and then that's when God logic started talking about what about Satan, and you, and that that was the and you agreed that if a prophet spoke the words of Satan, that that was a greater sin. Amazing. But I never said no. To, I said is it a sin? Go back no. to the recording. I never said major. Omar. Well, Omar. Brother Omar, Omar, remember, remember when Chris said to life, you asked Omar the wrong question. Ask okay. if the prophets can yeah. sin. And you said they can sin, but they don't commit any major sins. Then yeah, I asked yeah, you. I said that they do not. Say yes. Exactly. Then I asked you. Right. Thank yeah, you. Then I, then I asked you, is it a major sin to speak the words of Satan? Mm -hmm. You said Yes. But how will I know what the what words of what the words of Satan are? I responded with, "You won't know unless Allah comes and fixes it for you." And so this is where we are now. Yeah, but again, it's is if whether I'm not saying actually I don't even know if it's a major sin or not. But we, we know what major sins are: backbiting, shit. You don't you alcohol. don't know if speaking the words of Satan is a major sin. But as revelation, the or the, no, no, there's a difference. But backbiting somebody is. is. Satan threw into it. So you again, you, you guys are you guys only study Islam to attack it. You guys don't what? really care to learn. Let's be honest. If you if you if you want to be factual, because obviously you guys the are irony of first. that statement. What does it say in the Bible? Well, what's up? What do you say? He says that what you said is ir is ironic because you do not read the Bible to learn it. I don't even think you read the Quran to learn it. You know what? You read funny? the Bible to you read certain uh, what you think is contradictions or problems to attack it, like you've been doing today. But you know, you what? no, 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 not at all. Because you, well, this yep. is your whole your whole topic is 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 this. Like I said before in the beginning, my whole topic is prove Jesus was be, a Muslim. No, right, right, no, for two hundred dollars. Your whole theme, no, but it doesn't have to be me versus you. We're here together as friends, as people. Yeah, trying to learn, trying to come to a truth. Now, okay. like I said in your Bible, I am not uh, uh, um, the author of confusion. Right, so if you put in here and put different words, like is it a major sin? Like, let's go back. What are the major sins in Islam? And is this a sin? What do the Orthodox Muslims believe in this? The Imam, the scholars, do they say this is a sin? It's so interesting that you brought this. I'll look it up and I'll okay. bring it even and I'll bring more into you next week. But I got you. Um, I got you. So you don't. So you, yeah, it's okay if you, if you don't know. Which no, we it's are, not about. I don't know, but I'm not saying this is a sin because and they're attacking you, 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 him. Does you don't that know make if sense? it's you. You don't know if it's a major sin anymore. To speak the words uh, of Satan? I'm, I'm not. I never said it was a major sin. To be honest with you, like he it might not. It sin. might not even be a sin at all. Maybe <laughs> it might not even be a sin at all to speak the words of Satan as a revelation, saying that but he, would, he was he was attacking him. Attacking okay, no worries, no worries. All right, so let's let's try to get back now. 
Okay. Let's try to get back to, uh, you know, proving that Jesus was a Muslim. So yeah. if you're, uh, you know, going to prove that Jesus was a Muslim, how would you do that? Um, but, you know, it's, it's interesting, man, because I think one word you're hung up on, servant and son. Um, if you were in the time of, oh, one thing I was trying to say is regarding me, you're saying I'm attacking the Bible. I, we believe in the original Bible. So any word of God will never attack. What's here today has been changed according to you. You said it yourself, like you said this to, to, to me and other people that you've met and uh, many Christian scholars. No one's going to say, oh, okay, it's a share, you know, 40 different, it's been changed, but you guys, I understand it's a faith-based thing, right? But you guys do say the word. What scholar changed. says this? Wait, I thought we were going back to the topic. I honestly did. We are, but, but this is part of it, to know which part of the Bible. So, for example. No, uh, it ain't. No, I'm saying he, it's affecting him because, so, for example, um, so you want to talk about Muhammad, right? So, so. Is that what the topic of the <coughs> No, because I, no, I had a verse highlighted that I want, when I was listening, I, I want to share it. Okay, then let me just share this verse, then we'll go on Acts 3.13, the what God we, of our fathers. What are we reading the verse for? Because Avery was talking about servant and son, and here has glorified how long ago Jesus. how long ago was avery talking about his servant no that's fine well i want to okay go ahead Jesus, like come on about... like omar omar chill out sit down in your chair i don't know if you need to take a, a pill or something to relax yourself it seems like you're really really hyper right now and you're jumping from verse to verse to verse to verse to verse the topic is prove that jesus is a muslim for two hundred dollars if no. you go to the Quran and say that the Quran says he's a Muslim, it's a claim the Quran makes. Exactly. We want the historical evidence that Jesus okay. was a Muslim. So for okay. we don't care where you go, we would just like for you to go to a historical source that would show that Jesus is a Muslim. Okay. Okay. A Muslim, someone who submits his will to God and who does not claim divinity. Okay. Does not claim divinity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so one of the biggest. So, for example, so if you want to claim that, we got to mm -hmm. talk about the Trinity, to be honest, and and uh, the Why? history. You have to talk about how late. Well, who cares it. about the Trinity if the <laughs> question well, is prove that listen. Jesus is a Muslim? That's what I'm telling you. Well, <laughs> Jesus, you guys aren't listening. Jesus being a Muslim. Like, that that would be like the question. Really, like if really, the question on a Muslim live stream, God logic was prove Muhammad is not a prophet. <laughs> win two hundred dollars and then we go on there no and be like well in your quran or so yeah in your quran there's a there's a word that's missing <laughs> yeah but, we can't, but how we does that can't prove trust the quran <laughs> if we can't trust the quran yeah. we can't prove anything about yeah. whether or not muhammad was a prophet that's yeah. the, if, if we you guys get rid, of, if get get the rid point. of everything, in, if we get rid of everything that we could use yeah. in order to examine the claim, then we can't fulfill the claim. I'm, it's like yeah. that's like that's like saying barium doesn't exist after we get rid of all of the samples of barium. Interesting. OK, let's start with John three, two, man. Uh, then I'm going to get then let me get my, let me get to my point after. OK, my thing does, is does this prove that Jesus is a Muslim? But you'll understand it, 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 it's, it's it's obviously a complicated topic. It's going to get there. Right. I can't just have always oh, a Muslim. All right, guys, we're all Muslims in the mosque. Right. Or no, obviously it's, it's going to get into. So let me read it. Can I read it or no? Yeah, yeah just, just before you before you go ahead, Omar, and I'm going to let you work, man. I'm going to let you cook. Nobody's going to interrupt you. OK. OK. But so, so I right. just I just I just want you to. To make sure that you the point that you're making yeah. focuses on you know exactly that jesus so, was a muslim from where you're trying to prove it okay that's what i'm saying so jesus being muslim also denies him being a god basically but how okay but how does I'm him okay front, hold, on, but hold on hold on right. how does him not being god prove that he's a muslim let's let's take the deity of christ out of it let's say okay. jesus is not god i stuck really he's not god how do you prove that he's a muslim <laughs> yes, right. it, it, so, it, so 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 you guys say that Jesus himself claimed to be God, according to John. That's why he's not Muslim, right? Obviously, right? So you, no, you that's not. That's, well, that's, no, that's not. That's, not <laughs> that's why. part of it. No, look, whatever the you son go, of God, with, you guys, right? No, Omar, Omar, excuse me, Omar. Wherever you go, I mm -hmm. want you to use whatever you want to use okay. to prove that Jesus was a Muslim, and then we're going to use whatever you use in the context of what it's used, and okay. we're going to see if Jesus taught okay. and lines up with Islam. Is that fair? Okay, yes, yes, showing right, that Jesus is, is, is an expected Messiah and a prophet. So, wait, John 3, 2. 
The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher. Come from our God, for no man can do these miracles that you do if God was not, not with him. Right? So here it's very clear, right, that he was sent. He was a prophet. Nothing given. There's no divinity here. That he was a prophet, a rabbi. Is this true? Is that uh, it? Yeah, I'm like, is that, is that all? But I have Acts. I have Acts 2, 222. Wait, wait, wait. Have... wait, wait, wait. So it sounds like all you're doing is just prove, just is trying to prove that Jesus is not God. Is a for prophet, the sake, yes. Okay, look, for the sake of this conversation, mm -hmm. I'm going with you. Mm -hmm. Jesus, a stuck mm -hmm. is not God in this conversation. Okay. 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 This does not prove that Jesus was a Muslim. So I need you to prove to me that Jesus was a Muslim. Okay, so like, do, you, do, you, do, you want, do you want to so start with? Yeah. So we believe uh, he was a Messiah, the anointed one, a prophet of God, right? Which is Islamic belief. Okay. So I'm, I'm proving to you that he's a Messiah, that he's a prophet. We already I'm believe this. Sure. What, what's up? We already believe this. But you exaggerate. No, you don't. You don't believe. It. Oh yeah, he's a prophet. He he's a son of God, right? You believe he's God. We That's what he said. He's the Messiah. We believe that he's a prophet. We believe that okay. he's king. I mean, dude, it's like you don't know Christian theology. Christ issues the roles of prophet, priest, and king. Completely irrelevant to the conversation. How does any of this relate to Jesus being a Muslim? Jesus could if. be a prophet. He could be anyone under the sun, and not be a Muslim. Exactly. How can you prove? I don't think you guys that understand Jesus what, what is a yeah. Muslim. <clears throat> I don't think you guys understand what Muslim means. Someone who submitted to the will of Allah from Astama, right? A Muslim. That's okay. what Islam means. So, yeah. so, so we build that's okay, what we say. So the question is then, since we have the definition of Muslim, mm -hmm. the question is which God? Because any person can submit to their to their own God, but they would not be a proper Muslim by that definition, correct? If they submit to to the one God, where it's clear, where it's one God, you know what so I mean. So there, so there is a specific God. So which specific um, God does the does which, does the definition of Muslim coincide with? Exactly. So we, but no, no, no. I'm, I, I'm. I think your wording is that there's one God. We, you, me, we believe the same God, right or no? So, no. so do you, do, do you? Maybe so that should according, be addressed first. According to you, listen. According to you, according yeah. to you, the the true God is not a Trinity. He, exactly. He is unipersonal. He has yeah. no sons, no daughters. Exactly. He does not beget, nor is he begotten. There That's what go. the true God is to you, right? Yep. Take your shot. Okay. You're ready. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. So the question now is, can you prove then that you Jesus... Hunted. Wait, wait. Can you go prove... Ahead, no, you're right. Can you prove that Jesus believed and taught this concept of God? This is what I've been trying to show you, but you got okay. so you so you guys believe in these that you're saying he's a prophet, he's a god, but so is he a prophet or is he God? So this is interesting, right? If he's How, so who, many who, verses, who, is, who, is, the underlying assumption is that a is that God cannot be a prophet or a messenger. And who Which, cares of course, if we actually who, listen to Malachi? It's not right. But who you're cares? right, who cares? And like like literally, who cares? Look, why why we've we've already gotten rid of this. So now get to the part that you prove that Jesus, the prophet, Jesus, the Messiah, yeah. taught God is one person. God okay. is not a trinity. God does not have a son. He does not beget, nor is he begotten. That this is what Jesus taught and believed. Go okay. ahead. Fantastic. So can we first start from the beginning and avoid this view or this anarchistic view that there was an orthodoxy from the beginning, right? That various sects diverged from this. This is what I was trying to get to earlier, but I was interrupted and I think people misunderstood. So you guys think that this, you guys, your belief was the first, right? Jesus left 33 AD and boom, it was you guys, the Trinity. Because the Trinity, the Nicene Trinity is very specific. Bro, what, what are you not getting, Omar? <laughs> I'm going to prove that Jesus is a Muslim by talking about something completely different. You just asked about the Trinity, right? Or no? No, bro. no. We asked yeah, about second, proving one second, one second. that Jesus was a Muslim. Where did the word Trinity come out of our mouths? And we just said Trinity, showing that where Jesus said, "I am not part of the Trinity." What are you saying, man? Well, so go, back go and to where Jesus taught the view. Look, this is Omar. Yeah, I, 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 
this is the last time I got to do this and we got to, I'm going to just move to another guest if you can't deal with this, bro. Show me where Jesus lined up with the Muslim conception of God, that Jesus himself taught that God is unipersonal, that he does not beget, nor is he begotten, that he's a father to no one. Show me that Jesus believed this stuff. Okay, yeah, exactly. Okay, so he already brought up John 17, 3, right? Yeah, we already discussed that and showed how Jesus was saying that God is the Father in that okay. verse. Okay, awesome. So when the Jew came to um, when the Jew came to uh, uh, Jesus and asked for salvation, what did he say? You have to believe in the Father, the Son, or the Holy Ghost. What did he say? He referred him to the Shama. Shama Israelo, oh, Adonai Elohim, that's, Adonai wait, wait, wait. that's not what he asked. The Jew he said, "How do Jew, I how, how do I find salvation? How do I no, get saved?" No, no. The no. Jew came and that's asked him, saying. "What is the greatest commandment?" And then he quoted the Shema. Right. Okay. Yeah, he can't even get his verse right. Talking to when he was talking to another Jew, to Nicodemus, who actually asked about eternal life, and that they were discussing that. You know what Jesus said? It's actually in the the the, the scripture you referenced, John three. You know what he said to Nicodemus, the Jew, on how to get eternal life? You know what he said? The Shema. If it's nope. the same verse I'm talking about. Nope. 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 When he was asked in John 3 about salvation and eternal life, Jesus said, unless you, you are born, born again, again, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. And this is how. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only unique son that whoever believes in him, the son, should not perish but have everlasting life. For he yeah. did not send his son into the world to condemn it, but that it might be saved through him. That's yeah. how Jesus taught about eternal life. That completely contradict, contradicts John 17, 3, 20, 17, and 14, 20. How? Okay. If, if in John 7, look, John 17, 3 says this exactly what, all, what, what is, is said in John 3, 16. John 17, 3 says that they may know you, the only true God. This is, et this is eternal life. That they know you, the only true God. There you and go. And Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. So okay. Jesus is teaching that God is the Father and that they must know the Father and they must the know son. Jesus Christ, the Son, to, uh, to gain eternal life. It goes right along with John 3, 16 and 17, bro. I would even, I would even note that the term Kai connects the phrase only true God together mm -hmm. because it's referring the, the term monos. It only modifies aloteno and theon, true God. Exactly. Exactly. It doesn't modify Father. In fact, exactly. other places in uh, in John's epistles, uh, specifically, First John five twenty calls Jesus explicitly true God and eternal life, mm -hmm. referring back to this verse. Mm -hmm. So that's what Jesus taught about eternal life, Omar. Does that line up with Islam that in order to gain eternal life, you must believe in the son of God who, who he sent into the world, that we must believe in him uh, and know him and know the father, that God is the father? Is that is that the way eternal life, according to Islam? No, definitely not. No, I, again, I'm telling you, man, there's many verses that that contradict this. You know what I'm Bring saying? It. We're, we're, we're quoting we're, we're quoting what you quoted. Mm hmm. Mercy. These are passages that you quote. No, absolutely. Yeah. I'm telling you. No, even in the past, it's still going to be alone. It's it just... uh, you, you cut out. Are you there? Yes, yes. No, I'm okay. Even if you look at John, John 17, John, can you hear me? John 17, 3. Mm hmm. You, you're cutting 20, out again, Omar. Chapter 20, verse 3 of Exodus. Omar, yeah. what does this yo, have to do yo. with what Jesus said? For the, the this is the uh, Ten Commandments, right? Chapter oh, 20, Omar, Omar, verse, Omar. Yeah. In in John seventeen three, does Jesus teach that God is the Father? I don't see it. No, it just says that you know the only true God. Oh, wait, wait. he said this is eternal two. life. Yeah. This is, wait, wait, wait. Well, this is what we're gonna do because what they like, what they want to do is isolate verses. Right, mm -hmm. we can't. No, so no, we're I, not. Gonna, we're, so what we're not going to do? We're not going to use the verse prior. We're not going to use the verse after. We're just going to do the Muslim step 
and we're going to isolate the verse and see if Omar can tell us who even Jesus is talking about just from this isolated verse. So now, again, I'm asking you, in, when he says that they may know you, the only true God, who is he talking about? <clears throat> who is the you? The only uh, God. What kind of a question and, no, is that? Only true God is already stated. Who is yeah. the you? You don't have oh, you know you the only true God. Yeah, who is like the you? The Shema, the the you, you right? We who is the you? Like for example, if I said Omar, that they may know you, like like this this is a uh, this is this is how you get on on the panel, uh, that they may know you, the only Muslim here, and black doctor who's 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 cooking right now, right? If I say you, the only only Muslim here, who am I talking about? Oh, you me for sure. Ah, but you wouldn't know that just if I just said you just like with that blanket statement, it's ambiguous unless right. there's context to it. Right. OK. So, OK, good. According to the context, which is where you get from the verses prior and verses after, who is Jesus talking to when he says you? And this is so, so it, it's pretty clear, man. And this is they, that they may know you, the only true God in Jesus Christ. I'm not sure what, what you're getting at. Who here. is that? Who is the only true God that he's referring to? Who is that? God, is God, 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 God. No, just saying God is not, is not, uh, is not anything because he says you are the only true God. So who is the you that's the only true God? I'm going to say it. God, I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what you're asking. Good. Verse God. one, verse one. Let's just read verse one. When Jesus spoke, had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son that the son may glorify you since you have given him authority over all flesh to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I have glorified you on earth, having accomplished the work that you gave me to do. And now, Father... Glorify me in your presence with the glory that I've had with you before the world existed. So, in John 17, Omar, who is the you being addressed by Jesus? He gives him a specific name. Oh, is who that what you guys want to know? The Father? Yes! That's fine. That's fine. We don't we don't have a problem with that. <laughs> so you, you don't have a problem with Jesus calling God Father? His no, father, it's, it's a term and of himself, the, sign. the son so, of God, that we are all. So, so if you want, there's a verse talking about the apostles, the apostles too. So, does that mean that those twelve are also the sons of God? What oh my mean? gosh! Oh my and goodness! Ama amazing! Amazing! What do you mean? What do you mean? He's, he's unable to answer a simple question. The father. That's fine. If that's what you mean, the father. You should have just said it right there. Can you show me that? So, is that is that Quranic? Is that a Quranic teaching? That Jesus is the Son of God and He's and God is His Father. If Jesus is the Son of God, um, in uh, uh, in the Bible w that that was given to them, yes. So every book is, is God, a lot tailored. So that's fine. We wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm, I don't I'm, have I'm, a problem yeah, with that. I'm, I'm asking again. I'm asking Ask again. again. Go ahead. Is Jesus being the Son of God and God being His Father yeah. in Islamic teaching? And is well, it, it depends what you mean, man, because you're very slick and then you, you twist words and then you, you don't read Lord the whole thing. Have mercy. Let's be honest. Let's be no, no. I, I, so, 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 like Jesus, so, so, Jesus, the answer, so, Jesus, so, Jesus, so, Jesus, so, Jesus can wrong. be, so, Jesus can be the son of God in some sense. In some sense, we, we, we believe that. Show me that. Even, show, in, show, me people, show me that in the Quran. Show me that in the Quran. Show me that. Show me that in the Quran that Jesus is the son of God. Jesus is the son of God. No, I don't think it says it's the Quran. Yeah, the Quran actually but says he, that they utter a disastrous thing mm -hmm. that yes. they say that Jesus, the son of Mary, the Messiah, yes. is the son of Allah. It, well, I'm telling you, it's not in, in, in a shirk way, in, in a love way, in, in terms of endearments. That's what what, 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 is, what does that mean? Many people were called sons, though, right? One second, in your Bible, right? How many? People wait, wait. We're not oh. asking about in the Bible. We're talking about in yeah. the Quran. No, he did not say don't, that. No, don't, no, Omar, Omar, Omar. He, he, he I'm not trying to run to the Bible when we're asking you about the Quran's beliefs. 
Is it no, pro- is it possible I, I, yeah, for a proper not, Muslim did you not hear me? to call God his father? If if you have a, if you lack the understanding, then that's a different thing. But when we're not saying that it's it's in a shit way, does that does, do you does that do you understand? Is that? it is it shirk to is it shirk to say that Jesus is the son of Allah? So if you say that in the Bible that Allah in, at that time the Injil called many of the people at that time is it shirk different time to say that Jesus is the son of Allah. Let me okay. Go ahead, Joe. I see someone AZ. Bring bring up there's like three against one. Is this a trinity or there's only one against me right now? Bring <laughs> see, up, he's up. running. He no, can't not, answer. So no, I answered it. You guys don't like my answer. It's so okay. you guys it's want okay. that tailored answer for you, what you guys want, right? We just want to we want to see what Lawrence yes, told me. We, we want an honest answer. That's all. We want an honest I'm, answer. I'm telling you that at that time it was meant differently. And if if Allah used that, that's fine then. AZ, can you speak? What's going Yo. on, man? How's it going? Okay, good. It's you. <clears throat> Pretty good, man. Keep uh, so you're hearing what's going on, man. You believe that Jesus was a Muslim? Oh yeah, of course. I, I like how fo- I like how focused you guys were about what you wanted to know, and I wanna I want to be able to tell you that without using the word Trinity, without using seventeen three. I feel like there's just a, a lot easier way to do it. All right, help us out, man. Help Omar. <clears throat> All right, let, let me cook, yeah. So let, let me get it <laughs> off, and then let me let me cook, and then then you can tell me. Okay. Um. So obviously, like we said, Muslim means submit. You know, to submit your will to God. Right before so you go, the reason go why the reason why I let you on so late is because yeah. I didn't know if it was you or not. Because the the troll came using your name and picture. Oh really? And, and yeah, yeah, I saw the that. Screen, so no way. Yeah. Yep. Man, that's crazy. No, it's all good, bro. I, somebody was, somebody was using my stuff. I don't know. I don't know why they were doing that. But um, anyway, so like like we said, being Muslim means to submit your will to God. So so the question is, the very specific question is, prove that Jesus was a Muslim. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we'll go. I could even start from the Old Testament, but I'll start from the New Testament, and then I'll, I'll work my way around. Okay. So number one, okay, um, Luke six twelve. Okay, so we'll start from there. Actually, no, we'll Luke start with Matthew. It's in the Old Testament. No, no, I said I'm gonna start with the New Testament and work my way around. Okay, I'm gonna start with Matthew twenty six thirty nine and then get get a little deeper. Well, I, w- I want to make sure that I mark these these verses down that you click. Okay, so, I'm, I'm gonna read them all. I'm gonna read them all. So Matthew twenty six thirty nine. You've heard it a million times, but we'll, I'm just mm-hmm. gonna start here. So, go in the little father. He fell with his face to the ground and prayed, "My father." If it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Exhibit A of how Jesus was a Muslim. He he did not go by his will, but he went by the will. The Father's of, will. The Father's will. Okay, so. Which is Islamic, first, huh? So, so first I should actually prove about this term father and son, which Omar was trying to do. So the term, that we can go to Isaiah uh, 56, 56.5, uh, about... Um, basically how it says that, you know, David was the son of God. Israel was the son of God. So in the same term that he was trying to say that, basically, you were trying to say, well, can you be a, a son of Allah? No, you cannot be a literal son of God. God does not have a literal son. But in the sense of how it was said in these days, then David was also the son of God. Israel was is, the son is of there, God. Is AZ, is there yeah. in any sense in Islam where Allah can be called father? Any sense. In in any in any sense. If I was to say that um Allah is your father, can you would you, would that be if, okay? I wouldn't use that terminology. We're not I asking would that, you. We ask can you okay. can, can you? Can can you? Uh, I would say it would be better not to, no. Because and we have, be- we have better. better. <laughs> He's tap dancing asking, around the question. I'm asking it's, what's it's, better. Okay, We're then asking, no. Then, look, look, no. then no. Thank no, you. no, no, no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna Thank say. You. I'm gonna say no. Why? Because there's better words. But if somebody said, if somebody said, so it's that, not. So Jesus is not a Muslim because he called God his Father in some sense. No, no. Because that's how they. You have to understand, bro. You have to let. You have to let the the point get across. Is that in these times. Okay, if David was called the son of God, okay, if David was the son, if Israel was the firstborn, think about that. Israel was the firstborn of God, okay? Then 
would you would you say because i can flip the question back on you would you say david is the son of god yes or no just as direct as you wanted me to be he's one of them he's one of them he's one of them okay got it so now now we got an issue does, does, now, that, does that line up in islam in the in the way that god has is called because then in isaiah 56 5 he says you, you i said, will give you better names than sons and daughters ooh, right so you he just says, said so you just said mm -hmm. that in islam in Good. no way shape or form in no sense can you address mm -hmm. allah as your father so i wouldn't when, I, there's when, no need to there's better no, names we didn't ask if there's need to you said you yeah. can't this is something you can't do or you will be out of line with islam so you have here in the mm -hmm. verses that you're quoting where some mm -hmm. of the prophets are identified as sons of god where okay. jesus identifies himself as the son of god okay is so can you agree that this is not Islamic? It is okay in a, in the way that that they they were called sons of God, and that they weren't his literal sons. Then I will say that that is, there's no problem with that. You just said oh that there's in no way, shape, and form. Okay, in no sense can you call God Father. You said no sense. Okay. Okay, hold on. So if there's that, an why, why did, why did, wait, wait why a second, did I, wait a second. Why did I, why did I say there's no sense? Wait a I second. Because there's better wording if, that we could use. So if, if, if in any sense okay. a prophet is called a son of God, okay, fine, and I'll God go with you. is called a father, mm -hmm. then that is not Islamic, correct? No, 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 fine, I'll go with you. No, no, it's no problem. If you're, if you're not saying that he's the literal father and that you're the literal son, there's no problem with it. Where does we'll the Quran say this? What do you mean? Show it's, me where the Quran says that you can call God your father in some sense. But I just told you that we have better words for that. You're 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 uh, using like a bad argument. You're, you're, using, you're using a art. You're using a bad argument because you're trying to like corner in. You're like basically. I can say where did Jesus say worship me? Where's uh, uh where do you say I'm God worship me? You hate that because it's called a, a, a exact word fallacy. Now you're trying to do an exact word fallacy back over no, here. I'm to say, no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Not. Yeah, you are. No, yeah, you are because you're saying. Well, I'm asking you. No, all I'm doing. All words I'm have you, words have meaning. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Words hold on. have meaning. All okay, I'm asking you, Az, is mm -hmm. to show me from the Quran anywhere in the Quran where yeah. Allah is addressed as a father, or if He addresses anyone as His child. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for the exact verse that says. Show me where right. it says that Allah is a father in some. I'm not asking for those exact words. Just okay. show me anywhere in the Quran. Where there's no he's the father. There's no need to be for him to be called the father. He get, he has there, a lot there better is names. No, it, it, brother has Logic, a, it's because there is no place. No, no, actually, there is no place. Yeah, yeah. If, there's no if place. There was but, a, if there was a place, Az would have mentioned it. But there is no place where even the phrase "Son of God" is mm -hmm. used positively in the Quran or in any of the Islamic literature. There is no sense in which Allah could be said to be a uh, to be a father to anyone or anyone. Could okay. say to be the son of God. For you guys, example, it, the, it actually argues against Israel being called the sons of God. He says, <laughs> "If if God were your father, why does he still punish you for your sins?" Of course, where does that, it say that? that means he what, what's the quotation? Good, of course, what's that the, that means he wouldn't be a good father. What's the quotation? A good for father that? chastises his children and disciplines his children. But but the Quran says that. If Allah were Israel's father, then he would punish him. For What's the quote? The quotation of what you're reading right now. Well, I'll look it up. Give me two seconds. Wait, what, what are you asking for? What are you asking for? If Allah were your father, why does he uh, why does he not punish you? Why does chapter, he still punish chapter, you? For chapter your five, sentence? chapter five, verse eighteen. Come on, black yeah. doctor, you act like you not you don't have a shake on the stage with you, man. That's true. That's true. By the logic, I, I forget. I forget. Yeah, don't disrespect me again. Chapter five, then, verse eighteen. Okay, you, you you can read that if you want. It literally says with quotes. It says the Jews and the Christians say that they are sons of Allah. Yeah. Then, if you are sons, if you are His sons, why does He punish you for your sins? Nay, you are but men. Right. So, so, I, so I quoted it verbatim. I just didn't know the. I just didn't know the 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 number. And uh, Shake Shake Logic already knows it. He knows. So than so me. hold on. So 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 if you're reading that, it says the Jews and Christians each say we are the children of Allah and His most beloved. Okay. So when you say you're the mo you're the children of God, right? Don't you say that you're part of the body of Christ? 
Isn't that what you say by, by being a son of God, of God because you believe Christ is God? Don't you believe that you're in the body of Christ? Yeah, by and adoption. That, and, 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 and by adoption, right? And then even people will go further. I'm not sure about your specific belief, but people will say God is within them, right? Mm -hmm. Because and he, what does you, what and what AZ, AZ, what does any mm -hmm. of that have to do with well, the I'll argument? There. I'll get there. I'll get there. Uh, I'll get there. A a a AZ, AZ, I'm, I'm not done. You, I'm not done. You brought, what you brought does the that verse have up. to do with the argument that you is brought provided the in up. the Quran that if you God the were your up. father, he would not punish you for your sins? But you're not none really, of that you're, 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 about you're, God being you're, in us you're, or us being you're missing being you're missing stuff by adoption you're missing stuff uh, you're missing stuff because it says the Jews and the Christians each say okay you're you you're, you're skating over specific words each say so the Jews think they're the son of God with uh, that their, their God is their father the Christians say that the God is their father they say we are the children of God and his most beloved they acclaim to themselves that they're loved by God right and and I'm telling you that in Christianity, you believe that you're part of the body of Christ. You said that, yeah, it's an adopted, we're adopted, right? So you're believing. And then I said to you that some people, I'm not sure about your specific belief, but a lot of people say God is within them. The Holy Spirit is within them. The Holy Spirit is a portion of your God. And you say that the believers have the Holy Spirit in them. So you're saying you have God within you, right? So you're saying that God is within you and that you are his children. He gave you, so he, he gave you something, right? What We're, relevance Allah, does this have to deal with Allah's the going, argument? Allah's going against this. Allah said that this is not it. If if that was the case, then why would he punish you for your sins? If you think the body of Christ is in you, why would you be punished for your sins? Because, why? A, good fa because a good father chastises his children. That's in both the Old Testament and the New Testament. Mm -hmm. As I pointed out in my very pre presenting this to you, AZ, mm -hmm. a good father chastises his children. Therefore, the argument from the Quran is not even a logical one. But nevertheless, the point <laughs> is, there is not a sense in which Allah can be described as a father or the Jews and Christians can be called the sons of God, AZ, Find if, me if, a place in the find me a place in the Quran or you, in the Islamic literature where the phrase "son of God" can be used in a positive manner, or Allah as Father can be used in a positive manner. If you mm -hmm. do not have that, then you have no argument. No, not now. You're trying to now. You're trying to zone in on on the specific thing that you want, but that doesn't no, prove you're right. That doesn't prove you're right. The, and you and, and you and you and, and you and you keep talking and you keep and you keep talking. No, no, your room was very it's specific the in the room. Your room was very specific in topic. Prove that Jesus is a Muslim, someone who submits his will to God. I got started, and then now you're now you took me to the Quran. We don't you don't believe in the Quran, so don't take me to the Quran. I'm the gonna take you to the a -A I'm taking you to the I Bible. Think, I don't think you remember you the reason the why we even got here. The reason why we got here is because we proved that Jesus calls God his father. And we asked you whether or not that's is that is an Islamic belief, and you said yes, it is. But okay, and but we're but, asking you to. No, prove I didn't say it. yes, it is. I didn't say yes, it is. I said, I said that you said is is it okay in any sense to call the father or son? I said we have better names for that. We don't need to call God our father because so God. There, is, so there is no place where Allah is called father. Okay. Okay. There. Yeah, we don't need to call him father. If I call it, look. If you. So, if the, I was, so if, the answer was hold no. On, hold on. We've, we've hold on. Just let our time. I, Okay. Let me talk. Okay. You might have wasted your time. You might have been better off having dinner, and not do, not in this discussion. But if you want to be open minded, then then listen, and see if you can learn something. I know you're a doctor. I know you know a lot. But just you know, there's people get to with, the point with easy. a little more knowledge. Okay. So let, let me get to the point. Isaiah fifty six five. To them I will give within my temple and its walls a memorial and a name better than sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that will endure forever. What was that name that they gave them that endured forever? Can you tell me, uh, doctor? Repeat the question. Isaiah 56, 5. To them I will give within my temple and its walls a memorial and a name better than sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that they will endure forever. This is God speaking. He said that he will give them an everlasting name, that they will endure forever, better than sons and daughters. So at one point, sons and daughters may have been a term or a reference that was used. Not the literal, because they took the word begotten out of John 3.16, because the word was not an accurate description of what 
they were trying to describe Jesus as the begotten son, a lower level of animal sex function. They didn't, that wasn't what they what? meant by the word begotten. Yes, the word begotten, for God, for love to son, for, uh, he gave his only begotten son. This word begotten was pulled out of the Bible from the highest eminence. You don't know the doctor no, no, Zachary no, Nice speech? No, he no, get from the highest A -A eminence. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, you're demonstrating that you don't know what you're talking about. Hold on, hold on. Because so, so what, what is, wasn't pulled out. No, no, A A Z, A Z, A Z. Stop, 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 stop. What is the underlying Greek term for the word only begotten? What's the I'm, underlying I'm, Greek term? I'm telling you, was begotten taken out of the Bible? Yes or no? No. Of John 3 16. So John then no, begotten. Was I'm not trying taken to demonstrate John? you. I'm trying to tell you why. What Shake is the logic. underlying Greek Shake word? Logic. Help him out. But don't, what is don't the underlying the what is the underlying Greek word for only begotten? A Z. I don't know the Greek. I'm, I don't speak Greek. The, then 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 thank you for demonstrating that you don't know what you're talking about. The term mm -hmm. is monogamous, mm -hmm. which can either translate to only begotten. Or mm -hmm. unique. The term mm. is the same. The translation and meaning is the same. I have so a simple say, question. So, was so, begotten so pulled say, out? So to say mm -hmm. that the phrase only begotten was taken out and unique was placed in is an argument from absolute ignorance. I never heard the word unique sir. anywhere. I never heard. Bring me a Bible version where the word unique was brought in instead of begotten. I, they took begotten out and left it just the son. He gave his only son. The they term, didn't say unique. The term means unique or only one of a kind. That's it what it begotten. means. It means begotten, and they pulled it out. No, it doesn't. It means it means either okay. only begotten or one of a kind or unique. <clears throat> either one. Mm -hmm. You don't know what the term means, and yet you're trying to argue what the Greek term so means. So show me. So show me a Bible this where is the crazy. word unique is this put is in crazy. there. Crazy. Okay. Okay, okay just, I, we don't I, need I the drama. We, we don't need the drama. don't know what you're talking about. I got about. you. It's okay. I got you. I got you, bro. I got you. I know Logic's in the back line, so I'm waiting for him to hop in. I got you, bro. No, I'm just letting bra Black Doctor do his thing because he knows the, the languages, man, and he's talking, you know, for some reason you're not listening I mean, to him. I mean, okay. Isaiah fifty six five never got addressed. I got you. We can. I'll. I'll you, 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 you bring here. you you bring in Isaiah. Uh, you bring in that verse has no bearing on whether or not you have an argument well, that Jesus was a Muslim. Yeah, yeah, Jesus is the son of past, God. But we, but we have to get past son and father to even get into that discussion. Because every time I sh tried to show you Jesus was praying, I, I even have if, it shared, if, Brother Avery. I even have it shared. This, this is this is crazy, trying to argue logic. about the Greek with somebody who actually knows Greek. Logic, logic. Do you agree that sense. we have to get... Do you agree that we have to get through the definitions of father and son before we can even get to the fact Jesus was a Muslim? Correct? Well, yes or no? Do we, if, you want, if you want to get past that... I'm I'm pretty uh, sure we can deal with it. That's what I want to do. That's what I want us to do. Okay, if we can get past so, that, so I, I think I, I think that I think that I think that you need to see how did Jesus refer to himself when he called himself the Son of God. What did Jesus mean that he was the Son? He of was God? called the Son of right? David too. He was, and so when Jesus, like I mm. said, refers to himself as the Son of God, we need to see mm -hmm. what Jesus meant by that. Fair enough. And the son of man, son of David. There's all of that. Of all of that. All of, all of okay. that. So you. So yeah. you. You. That's this fair. is like, like a, Jerry, a show Jesus of says. Jerry. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Go ahead. And none of that is even relevant to what the Quran even allows. But nevertheless, let's deal with the term monogamous. The term monogamous means one and only, unique. It means mm -hmm. only or unique. Okay. It's the it's the same word that's used in relation to multiple passages in scripture, including mm -hmm. Genesis 21, in which God talks to Abraham. It says, sacrifice your son, your only begotten son, your only son on the altar on which I show you. Now, does that mean that that Abraham only had one son? Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. The answer, of course, is no, AZ. Yeah. Abraham had at least two sons. But here... Isaac is called the only son, the only son whom he loves. So there is a specific relationship to Abraham that Isaac has, that only Isaac has. So here, when Jesus uses the term monogamous or only begotten, it means that he has a special relationship with the father that nobody else has. Okay. So and, people and, can say, so people can mm -hmm. say, Mm -hmm. that there are multiple other people who are called sons of God. 
but only mm -hmm. one person is called the Banaganes. Is Banaganes. Okay. So I just have one question that you failed to answer is that why was the word begotten pulled out of the Bible on John oh 3.16? He's not even listening. It wasn't. I'm listening. I heard what you said. You're not even listening. It's absolutely. So, so, so what did he say about the word begotten? What did he say about it? That it was taken out. He, he said. No, no, no. What, what, no, did, no, black, what did Black Doctor, what did black doctor said, say about it? He, he said it was used in the Old Testament to refer to Abraham's son. And the word, uh, it doesn't mean that it was his only son. That he had other He's sons talking that Isaac... about the underlying word that begotten is being translated as. It's um, you monogamous. asked me to say what he said. Yeah. Oh, but so you're not saying what he said. He's talking about the word monogamous, which okay. is translated either begotten or unique. It doesn't okay. change the word that's being used there. You get okay. it? It means by yeah. begotten, it's talking about he's unique. So this is what we're going to do. Because mm -hmm. um, you already said that in no sense can you call Allah your father. No sense whatsoever can Allah be called a father or you a son. So if anyone is called uh, is called the son of Allah or a, the children or, or, or addresses God as the father, then they're not in line with Islam. You already said this earlier. But now let's go see what Jesus meant by when he said son, when he identified himself as the son. Mm -hmm. OK, let's do that. So you quoted Matthew 26, which in that same verse, he calls God his father. So let's see what Jesus was. Let's stay in the book of Matthew. Is that fair? Let's stay in the book of Matthew. We'll go to Matthew. I mean, bro, you, you, you told me to prove it. You told me to prove it. Now you're giving me a lecture. So, I mean, I'll, I'll go with whatever you well, want. Well, you're the you one who said you wanted to see uh, to get past son. What son means. That's what okay, you so, said. So, 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 let me, so let me keep proving then that Jesus is Muslim you're not without proving, us bringing up no, no, the word no, 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 son no, no, and father. You, no, you, you can't get past this because Jesus calls God his father and son. And that's not Islamic, so therefore he's not a Muslim. So, so let me ask you. Argue, let me finish. Okay, go but ahead. But now sorry. you're trying to argue that, wait a second, <clears throat> if he calls God his father and he's the son, well, he that's okay with us. He can do that in some sense. It depends on what he means by that, is your argument. So mm -hmm. even though your Quran says you cannot be a son, even though you said you cannot that's call God father, you mm -hmm. said this out of your mouth. But now mm -hmm. we're backtracking and saying, oh, well, in some senses, you can be a son. In some senses, God can be your father. No, I didn't so say that. Saying, yes, you. I didn't say that because I said to you, bro, what's the difference man, between you what? Crazy. You guys are crazy. Brother, brother, bro, there's no need to get hostile, number one. Number you two, guys are if, crazy. If, if, if you cut somebody off halfway through, you can't know you their full argument. You guys are crazy. So here we go, man. We're just gonna go to what Jesus meant by. I'm not. Son. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say anything back. I mean, I don't need to call you crazy back. I'm just, you know, we're talking. Well, I'm not. I'm not the one being crazy. You're being crazy right now, man. I'm gonna be real with you. You're being crazy. It's not I just mean, you. you, that, it was, you it was Omar you, you, before you. Omar was. But that's the whole. Thing. He, he, Omar said two, something. two billion. We repeated it, think, and he said, "I didn't say that." This is all you guys have been doing today. No, no, because you're trying to stiff arm the definition of son and father. And I'm showing you in, that he's the son of David. He's the son of man. He's the son of God. You is can't he tell okay, me he's why the, he's called he, the son wait, in all the, these different situations. I, I can definitely call tell you why he's the son of God. I can tell you why he's the son of David. I can tell you why he's the son of man. I can show you all okay. of this. But So, so he has a lot him, of different fathers. Hold on a second. So with him being yeah. the son of God, is that Islamic? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? The literal son of do you believe is the literal son of God? Is he a son of God in any sense? Yes or no? Is he the literal son of God? <laughs> if 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 an 80-year-old guy calls you son, you have a father, right? If the 80-year-old oh, guy shoot. calls you son, he says, son, calm down. Hey, is see, he your I'm father? Gonna, I'm gonna is give he your you father? Another chance to answer this straight up, and I'm moving Bro, on. I'm Bro, you can. I is just, Jesus I the Son of save God the, in any sense? Save the, yes or no? Save, save the time, bro. Move on, because you're not listening. So, peace. peace. Are right, you buddy. Patrick Starr? Right. Yep. <laughs> and your name is in this wallet. Yep. And by definition, this must be your wallet. That makes sense to me. Then take it. It's not my wallet. <laughs> Muslim logic, everyone. All right, so we have uh, the baseball lover who says that he was a Muslim, or that he is a Muslim, that he was a Christian. Is that correct? Yes, yes. All I was right. a Christian a lot longer than Muslim. Like a Muslim just a couple of months ago. A couple of months ago. And what made you uh, convert to Islam? First yeah, of all, welcome to the panel. 
Good Sorry, evening, gentlemen. Jealous. Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Um, no, I just read the New Testament, seeing it. <clears throat> I'm dealing with a synoptic problem that New Testament scholars deal with, have dealt with for decades. I, I saw contradictions in the New Testament, and I saw specific um, phrases from Jesus that cannot be Christian, that Christians would not have written this, no, Orthodox Christians would not have written this. So this came from the mouth of the historical Jesus. So you guys are talking about what Jesus said to Nicodemus in John 3. Jesus said in through Matthew, Mark, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, he has a different understanding of eternal life. So that that can't really? they, they can't both be true. That's what led me out of Christianity, and Islam seems to make the most sense okay. to me as of right so, now. So what made you to go to Islam? It the, the Islamic Jesus, Reza Aslan's book, Zealot, written by Reza Aslan. It, it the historical Jesus seems to make the most sense with Islamic religion the islamic view of jesus which is what the thesis of that book is that he was a a, a, a he was he was a, a man preaching a, a rabbi preaching um the coming kingdom of god he was going to overthrow the romans um that he, he predicted the destruction of jerusalem but he preached about a coming figure of the son of man and the argument from that book is before the destruction of jerusalem the jerusalem church was mostly Jewish. They believed Jesus rose from the dead, but that they were a mostly Jewish group and also Christian. And so that 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 book gives a very good argument historically that the the, the Jesus in the Gospels, the way he is portrayed in the Gospels, does not align with the historical Jesus due to some things in the Gospels and um, well, it's some writings from Josephus that we have and everything we know about Roman history. Do you believe that Jesus is the Messiah? And rose from the dead? Okay, that was two different questions from two different people. Avery, you first. You believe that Jesus is the Messiah, correct? Yeah, yeah, still do, still do. How, how would you demonstrate that? Well, I know the Quran teaches it. But how would you demonstrate that? That's just a claim. How would you demonstrate that Jesus is the Messiah? What does Messiah mean from the Quran? Um, it, it still means the coming he's part of god's salvation ultimate salvation plan where, I mean, where, is the quran, the where, where does the quran say that i don't know much about the quran i'm very new okay so about know? two or three months two about two or three months okay the quran doesn't tell you what messiah means or what the purpose of the messiah is it doesn't tell you why jesus is called the messiah it just calls him that so you're it's begging the question why is he the messiah how do you prove this right how how would you how would you how would you demonstrate that he is the Messiah? Other than just a claim that he is, how would you demonstrate it? Well, that's all religions, basically. Religions are just a claim. But uh, no. the closest I would get is to Daniel 7 and the, the, son of, the coming son of man, that figure, and then Daniel 7. That's the did, best I got. Did Daniel 7? So, so you need to go to the previous scriptures to, to tell you about some things about the Messiah to learn this stuff, right? Sure, yeah. Um, so with Daniel 7, it talks about how the Son of Man will come and how uh, he's given he's given the kingdom and glory and honor, things of this nature, and all the inhabitants of the earth will worship him. All the creatures will worship him and serve him. Yeah. So you so, so you believe you believe that uh that, that goes in line with uh, with Islam? That the, that the Messiah will rule and be worshipped by worship all men. Yeah. I don't know where it says they would worship him in Daniel 7. Well, the, the word serve in the word serve there in, in Aramaic is a service that is only given to God, not to man. Hmm. From my understanding, um, even listening to Jew, Jews, not not even Muslims, but but like R Rabbi Tovia Singer, um, who denies to, that, who rejects that Jesus is the Messiah, you appealing to him? No, no. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm trying to figure out Daniel seven, and there are three different. I don't. Um. So you're going to appeal. You're going to. Yeah, I, I just want to make sure you don't appeal to someone who literally rejects what you believe is that Jesus is the Messiah and uses these verses and his meanings and interpretation to uh, to communicate that, that Jesus is a false prophet and a false Messiah. So I don't think going to Toby a singer is a good idea. Okay, I was going to talk about the Son of Man figure and that okay. verse that you said where they bow before him 
and you're saying that to worship as they worship God? No, 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 not, not no. It doesn't say not bow before him, but they give him a service, and this service in the word, the Aramaic, this word for service, is this type of service that's only given to God and God alone. There's other words that's used for uh, the service given to someone of respect, a king, and things of this nature, and that's a particular word. Uh, but the word that's used there for the Son of Man is the word that's only used to serve God. Okay. So do you I, believe I, that I, that lies I'll in? To that. I'm going to have to go after and, and uh, for sure. look over that, read that. Of I don't course. have time to, right now to just observe that. No problem. Uh, in, in Daniel 7 as well, um, it talks about how there are, there are thrones, right? That there are thrones that Daniel sees. And one of the thrones belongs to the Ancient of Days, right? The Ancient right. of Days takes his seat, right? He sure. has the angels surrounding him and things of this nature. And then the other throne is for the Son of Man who approaches him. Do you believe that it is in line with Islamic theology that the Messiah rules and sits alongside God, the Ancient of Days? I'm not sure yet. I'm a, a very new Muslim. Got you. I know the New Testament very well because I, I studied it um, okay. thoroughly for, for a, more than a decade. Okay. So I, I can okay. talk more about the problems of that I saw that said, okay, this can't be inspired by God. So this is this is why I'm asking about this, man. Because when you say if you if you if you rejected the New Testament, right, and just like it was like, yeah, I don't believe in it anymore. Not I'm all like, of okay, it. cool. Not, right, not right, all okay, okay, so you but you left you left it to go to Islam. And so that's why I'm asking you, um, what was it about Islam that got you? What, what convinced you? And what you're bringing up is problems that you saw in the New Testament and how the Islamic view of Jesus, it makes much more sense and basically really lines up with, uh, it will line up with what you understand. His, what, historically, primarily historical and, and what you, evidence. And the scripture, what the scriptures say about the Messiah. Sure. So what the scriptures say about the Messiah is that the Messiah is going to rule alongside the ancient of days, uh, sitting on a throne next to him, ruling and receiving the service that's only given to him. So with that understanding, that is not Islamic. Matter of fact, that destroys Islam. That would be shirk, according to Islam, associating a partner with Allah. Yeah, I would say I would say that the logic, it, 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 it does connect. What you're saying um but that goes against both of us because he's not ruling right now on any throne like it, there's no yeah. literal throne no no no, so no he, he actually is literally like but there, there's that nobody reigning right now. there's nobody on the throne of david in israel so okay so there's a throne of david on the earth and then there's the throne that he rules on sitting next to the father in heaven which is where he is seated according to the new testament according to jesus himself he says uh that he'll be sitting uh, next to the father while the father makes his enemies um, puts his enemies under his feet this is what Jesus says so you have an, a heavenly throne that he has and then he brings the kingdom of heaven down to earth and rules on the throne of David forever make sense yeah yeah but the earthly throne has to be future correct the earthly throne right. is definitely the future There's so, so right now and yeah Right, right. There's, there's no. It, it that hasn't that's happened. Ways, that's, that's happened to. Be, that's yet to be fulfilled. But, but here's my thing. If that's what you're relying on to determine what the Messiah is, right? That's something that hasn't come to pass. So then, how would you demonstrate that he actually is the Messiah? If that's something that hasn't come to pass yet. See, with the Quran. You do not know Jesus. With the Quran and Islam, it doesn't give you anything about Jesus, his mission, uh, who he really was, what he was there really, what he was really there for. You don't know, and you miss out on the importance of his mission and his title as Messiah, as you stated correctly that he is God's salvation. Right? He is God's salvation, but the Quran doesn't tell you that. The Quran doesn't know. You get this from the scriptures and from the New Testament. But you left this yeah. for Jesus that now you don't know. I saw problems in the New Testament. I saw Jesus teaching things that Muslims teach. That Jesus only Muslims taught things teach. that Muslims teach. Yeah. All right. So what's what's something what's something that you have that Jesus taught that Muslims teach? Yeah, and 
yeah, and, and this goes to the exact um, title, Proof That Jesus Is A Muslim. Yeah. Jesus can't say the Shahada before Muhammad came. <laughs> so I want to just rephrase it. Jesus would have been, or Jesus taught Islamic things. That's that's my thesis. Because Okay, so Jesus no taught Islam thing. Jesus taught Islamic things. He couldn't say Shahada, so he wasn't a Muslim, but he right, taught Islamic Muhammad, things. He right, Muhammad didn't Islam. exist. You know, right, so. right, right, right. Okay, so what did Jesus teach that was Islamic? Okay. Um, I have three verses. Okay. Um, and, but, and real quick, you're a Reformed Christian. Or what type of Christian are you guys? Protestant? I'm an, I'm an original Quran-only Christian. <laughs> hey, I like that. We, I got that laugh. Good. <laughs> we Protestant. I assume you guys are Protestants. Uh, sure. Okay. Um, yeah. It, Luke 10. Luke 10. 25 to 28. What does it say? <laughs> they ask him, um, an expert of the law said, teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus says, what is written in the law? How do you read it? And then he basically describes the Lord of God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus said, you have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. What must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said, do this and you will live. And so my whole Christian walk, I was wait, wait, this, you said to this is, Wait, just one sec. I'm sorry. This is Luke chapter 10? Yeah. 10, Luke. verse 25 to 28. Verse 25 to 28. Okay. All right. Continue. Yeah. My, my whole Christian. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. 25. Luke 10, chapter 10, verse 25 to 28. My whole Christian walk, I was taught, oh, there's nothing you can do to earn God's favor. It is all by faith. By faith alone, grace alone, through Christ alone, salvation Whatever. But Jesus, out of the mouth of Jesus, they asked him, how do I inherit eternal life? And he said, what is written in the law? And then Jesus himself said, do this and you will live. Jesus does not point to himself. He does not say, believe in me. He doesn't say, um, have faith. He says, do the law. And so this contradicts whatever is happening in the Gospel of John. So that's why I said Matthew, Mark, and Luke, Jesus, is different than John's Jesus. And that's where the problem started for me. Okay, um, so right here, it says here, um, he says, what is written in the law? How do you read it? And he answered and he gave him these commandments, that you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and you should love, the neighbor, love your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, you have answered correctly, do this and you will live, right? So He's not talking about doing works of the law, but specifically, it's loving the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul, and loving your neighbor as yourself. Now, what does that look like? What does it look like to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul? The Good Samaritan, the parable of the Good Samaritan. Well, not 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 just that though, but also believing in what God has has said, right? And 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 in, sure. in His testimony, right? Yeah. yeah. So this testimony is that I have sent my Son into the world. Uh, to save the world, uh, it's not loving God with your mind, heart, and soul if you reject this message. And if if we remember the context, of course, he mentioned the parable of the Good Samaritan. <laughs> but the reason why the parable is told is because the man doesn't have a right view of what the law is saying. Mm -hmm. He says, seeking to justify himself, who is my neighbor? And so Jesus tells him this parable that the neighbor is not just someone who you think is your neighbor, but is every single person, even especially the person that you hate. Yeah. For the law says in Matthew, or you have heard it said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. So right. Jesus elevates the view of the law. The righteous requirement of the law is to be perfect. If you do that, sure, you will live. The question is, who can do that? And Jesus never says that you can. Instead, as we see later on in the Gospel of Luke and all over the Synoptic Gospels, see, we are going to Jerusalem, where the Son of Man is to be killed and on three days rise again from the dead. And especially, you went to the Gospel of Luke, Luke 24. Yeah, he exactly. goes straight to the law. And he says, in this way, Scripture is written that the Son of Man should suffer, that the Christ should suffer, and in three days rise again from the dead. 
and forgiveness of sins will be proclaimed in his name to the ends of the earth, beginning in Jerusalem. So the forgiveness of sins is not found in his in, in someone's works, but in believing in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of their sins. Just just to cap this off with this, because I was I was actually gonna go there after I went to the first one in uh in Luke 22, where he talks about the it's the Lord's Supper, right? And you're yes. you're familiar with this. Uh, uh what, what's your name, brother? Felix. Felix. Felix, you're familiar with the Lord's Supper, right? Yeah, of course, of course. All right, so in the Lord's Supper, Jesus says this. He says, um, he says, and uh, da, 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 do, 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 uh, da, da. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, said this, said, take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, the cup after they had eaten, saying, this cup is poured out for you. This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. So Jesus is teaching that the new covenant for forgiveness of sins is through the brokenness of his body and through the blood that he sheds as our atonement. And then Luke 24, that forgiveness of sins is preached in his name. So uh, how, how would you, how, how do you reconcile this? I guess, you know, like clearly he, he taught that. I he, used to, he is the, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I used to reconcile it just like you guys are doing right now. But Jesus said multiple statements saying to inherit eternal life, you got to follow the law. So I would say more Islamic Jewish type of statements. And then you see mostly Christian statements throughout the Gospels. So I used to believe, okay, you just got to reconcile it all to but fit both my are, theology. Both are in the Gospels. Right, right. And my, so Wait, my point well, is the feel, Gospels feel have error and truth because they were written by Christians. But some of the actual things Jesus said got made its way into the Gospel. It's almost like the Christians didn't notice. So, so okay, oh, okay. The, the argument is... That apparently Jesus preached a man-centered gospel, and the Christians, who apparently weren't followers of Jesus, wanted to completely change Jesus' statement. But in changing Jesus' statement, somehow the things that Jesus actually taught snuck themselves in. So, so first the argument was, well, this is only found in the Synoptic Gospels and not found in the Gospel of John. And yet when we look at just one gospel, the gospel of Luke, we have a certain way to harmonize the gospels. And yet then the argument shifts to, well, the all of the gospels are contradicting each other. Instead, the first argument was, well, it's just John. So so which one, which one is it? Is it just John both, contradicting both, the rest both, of the both. synoptic gospels or is all of the gospels completely contradictory? We can't trust no, any no, of no. them. They're, they're all contradictory and Luke contradicts himself also, but that's another topic. I was just saying in, in terms of eternal life, so Luke, so they have Luke different understandings in terms of eternal life. Source, so. I, I'm just, I'm just confused here. So, you, you, you quoted Luke and said Jesus in Luke is different from the Jesus in John. But we just saw the Jesus in Luke say that he is the one who is the center of salvation. So I'm, I'm, I'm confused here. Well, he, Jesus didn't say those words. I'm the center of salvation. He said neither, no, neither, no. neither does he say the words uh, in order to get eternal life, you must follow the law. He doesn't say that either. He, he basically said that to the expert in the law. Oh, Do this oh. and you will live. Basically, do what? Wait, what do what? And you basically obey the law. Wait, huh? Obey the law. No, he doesn't say obey the law and you will live. He says, "What does it say in your law?" And he's and and the person said two specific things, two specific things, and Jesus responded with, "Do this and you will live. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love your neighbor as yourself." What does that look like? And that is believing in the message and the testimony that God has and sent, as you said, yeah, sure, I, I agree with that. So th that has nothing to do with following the law and the, obeying the law of Moses. As, as he answered, responded to the two laws that was mentioned and said, 
Obe uh, uh, believe in God, uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. That means believing in everything he says, obeying everything he says, and adhering to everything he says. Well, according to Luke, Jesus is the son of God. He claims to be the son of God, sent by God to save the world and reconcile the world back to God. This is what Jesus says in Luke. I have a question, Felix. If Jesus' statement was simply to, you know, work your way to salvation, follow the law and do stuff like that, why does Luke say, after Jesus says this, but the man seeking to justify himself? What does what does the phrase seeking to justify oneself mean? How does one justify themselves? He's trying to justify himself. He's trying to declare that he is that he is righteous. His way of, of, of doing eternal life is correct, that he is in the right with God. So he has followed the law. <laughs> He's saying following the law is how you become righteous. He's actually agreeing with Jesus. Um, no, from, from what I understand. Then, then why does it then why does he give the then why does Luke give the impression that he's not? Because he says, then he, seeking to justify himself, continued to ask, well, then who is my neighbor? Jesus agrees with him. Jesus said in verse 28, you have answered correctly. That so doesn't, that doesn't, even though he was that doesn't actually address himself. the question that I asked, Felix. Okay. I asked you, what does it mean, him seeking to justify himself? Oh, for I tried. I, I I I think I did answer that. He was saying that he was right with God. His way is the right way. He's trying to impose that onto Jesus. He's trying to prove Jesus wrong. He's trying to say Jesus isn't following God's way. His way is God's way. He's doing God's way, not Jesus. He's trying to say I'm the one justified in my beliefs. And where, where is, Jesus where actually is that? Where, where where even is there a hint of that? That that apparently the, well, that the wise man is bringing a charge against Jesus, saying that he hasn't followed the law. Wh where is that found in the text? That's, where is that, that even implied in exactly the text? I, that's not exactly what I said. I, that but, that but, is what you said, though. He said that I followed the law, you haven't. That's what you said. Okay. So where do you get that in the text, or are you going to retract that statement? I'll, I'll retract it for the sake of the argument. Can I let me just add something really quick on the uh, center of self, salvation part? So you said Jesus never said that himself, but we clearly see in John 14 where he tells you that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can get to the Father except through him. Well, life, that's so his point. He's, his point is that's that, his point. His point is that John says this, like it's it, oh, the, the Jesus and John is different than the Jesus and Luke. But we just showed in Luke, we showed in Luke where Jesus says that the son of that the that the Christ had to suffer mm. um, and rise in the get from the dead on the third day so mm. that the forgiveness of sins is preached in his name. So even Jesus in Luke says salvation is through him. Right. But is he separating like what what what? And uh, you're you're a new Muslim, but are you using their arguments where you're claiming Luke said this? John said this. Are you not accepting that these are statements from Jesus himself? No, he he's 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 uh, stating just, that not even not even is Luke contradicting John. So mm -hmm. basically one of these one of these statements Jesus never said. But even okay. in Luke himself, Luke is apparently contradicting Luke. Luke is a terrible writer to right. where there are some there are apparently some things that Jesus taught that are in there. <clears throat> And then mm -hmm. some things that are not taught in there because apparently they're contradictory, even though we found perfect ways to harmonize them and they have not been addressed. He's just repeated his argument again. Right, because that's what I was going to ask him. I was going to ask you, do, do you not see how these statements can be harmonized? I think they've proven to you that these statements can be harmonized and are harmonized. And so what what would be the issue there? God logic mentioned that following God includes believing in the one whom he have sent and Jesus rising again from the third day. But that's not in the passage of the Good Samaritan parable. That's not Does in the conversation. He added that from another part of the book of Luke. And Does so, it need to be? But that's the that's the that's the point of a book. So we're both you interpreting. Have, 
So when you, when you, it's, it, that's the point of a book. Every single thing is not going to be on one page. I never you said have that. to read the book in its entirety and harmonize the entire book to where you take specific statements, put them together, and then you understand the importance of whatever it is that you're reading in its entirety. You're just you're you're telling me because something is not in a specific passage that you read that it's all it's when you read it when you read something different somewhere else it's contradictory. That is that that doesn't make any sense. You're you're not gonna be able to have the book the way that you want it. You've been a Christian for how long and, and you don't understand that you're reading a book in its entirety? I've read the book Wait, in its entirety Felix, many Felix, times. How, how long have you many been years? a Christian? 10 plus how, years. How I've read years? it in its entirety many years. So, so, you do, so you do many agree that scholars. we have to take the book in its entirety though, right? Right, right, right. Okay, so so your statement that well, it's it. This is what it says here in Luke, and then we go somewhere else, and then we get another statement of salvation here. Do, do you not understand? Saying that they're contradictory, they cannot both. Be How true is that contradictory because... when when it's been harmonized right in front of your face? Okay, okay yeah. Let's, let's right, just... the way you harmonized it. The, the way you harmonized it. Let's get two different passages. John three, Jesus speaks with Nicodemus about eternal life, and this passage, Luke. 10. No, 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 forget, or, forget John three, forget John three. Let's okay, let's okay. do this. Let's do Luke ten, and Luke twenty four. Okay, Luke twenty four, Luke twenty four. I'll go to Luke twenty four right now. Mm -hmm. um, go to verse forty four. Forty four to forty six. Okay, forty four to forty six. Okay, forty four to forty six. I'm there. And what does it say? He's, you, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead. Okay. Wait, There's my problem right there. Keep, verse 40. Keep reading. Keep reading. No, keep, okay. keep reading. Keep reading. The next verse. I'll do it. And that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations. All right. Beginning in, from Jerusalem. So Jesus says that salvation is through him, correct? There, it says that Jesus said that. Yes, I agree. Okay. Right. So okay. what is the problem when he says, when he's, at, when he's asked, how do I obtain eternal life? And his answer is, what does your law say? And the response is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Yes, do these and you will live. How does that contradict what Jesus said? Because salvation through obeying the law. Is he doesn't say obeying the law. He does not say obeying the law. Where does he say that? I, I, I thought I showed you. Um, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law? What does your law say? How do you read and it? What was the answer? Do this and you will live. Do, do this what? And you will do live. what? And you will live. The law, the law, or no, see again. So th th this he, is where love the Lord God, love the Lord God with all your. Thank um, you. So stop yeah, yeah. saying he said to obey the law and you will live. He says no, no. Obey. Do this specific thing. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love the neighbor as yourself, and you will live. So stop interpolating. Obey the law and you will live. Stop interpolating that in there because that's not there. That is the law. And, bro and brother yeah. Avery, one, one thing that I want to point out here is that apparently the underlying assumption is that those who believe in Jesus will not do this and by nature will not live. Because those who believe in Jesus will by nature be transformed into those who love the Lord their God with all of their heart, soul, mind, and strength. Just as the Apostle Paul says, do we destroy the law by this faith? By no means. We uphold, we uphold the law. It. So those who have been changed by God, by faith, will by nature do what the law says. Faith works. We are saved by faith alone, but not by a faith that is alone. Bar. Okay. Love the Lord I mean, God you, with all you your heart, so mind, and strength. That is, that is the greatest commandment. Mm -hmm. so are we in agreement? What yes. is it? Okay, yeah, but what does that mean? Just and what is a what, commandment? What, what, is, what does that mean? How do you how do you love God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul? How do you do that? Well, you, you guys are saying by believing. I'm saying by following the Good Samaritan parable. Live the way he taught taught you in the Good Samaritan parable. Okay. There's nothing there about belief. 
that that it surprised me. Wait, wait, wait. So nothing is so nothing in love the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul is it has to do with belief. The the word does, belief or faith does it doesn't appear there. I'm gonna ask again. And? Can you love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, mind, and soul without any faith, without belief? You have to believe in God, yes. You have to okay. believe in Allah, and yes. So, to, and so by it. Okay, good. So by believing in God, by believing in God, you believe in the testimony that he sends, right? Sure, yep, I agree. And if his testimony is that my I sent my son to save the world, and you believe in that, that's you loving and obeying it and living that by true. that, then you're loving, the, you're loving the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul by believing in what he sent, right? Yes. If, so if that's, how... Yep. So how, again, does Jesus saying that he's the center of salvation and also saying that if you love the Lord, all your mind, heart, mind and soul and your neighbor as yourself and you will live. How do those two things conflict? Because I just see a harmonization. I see that they go hand in hand. Where do they where is the contradiction? I showed it in this verse. Um I have two more others that might show a contradiction if we have time to get into that. I think let, let, I answered that question already. Okay. And I agree with you. Belief is part of we haven't even addressed obeying. It's okay. He hasn't okay. even addressed your question, Brother I, Logic. I, I agree with him that yes, you have to believe in God to obey God, to 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 follow the law. So if his so again, if his testimony, right, his testimony. is to believe in his son for your for your salvation. How does Jesus saying that he's the center of salvation, that's through him that you get saved, the son, conflicting with loving the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and your neighbor as yourself, and you will live? The way, How does the that way conflict? You, the way you put it there, it doesn't conflict. If that's okay. what Jesus actually there you said, go. There's, no, there's no conflict. The conflict I see is two different people asking the same question. How do I inherit eternal life? Believe in me, and you shall never perish. That's all of John. All he says is to believe. And then in other passages, Jesus says, obey the law. And no, then not doesn't. just in this passage, but and, two and other no, passages. No, it, he doesn't. He doesn't. And yet, John if he said, John obey says, the law, yet, I'm John says, says a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. How can you say that you love me and not do what I say? If you love me, you will keep my commandments and you will abide in my love. That's what John says. It the yeah. exact pretty much the exact same way that Luke is saying it. Abide in my love. Those who do not obey the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Okay. Like how how are how are these things yeah, contradictory? How, how does, yeah, how does it contradict? Is what I'm asking you. How how does that contradict? Okay. To believe in the Son for salvation. Again, John 3, Luke 24 is the same thing. And loving the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and your neighbor as yourself. How do that con how does that contradict? If love the Lord God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself, if that is means obey the law, and you have to obey the law to be saved to, or inherit eternal life. What does it say that that means obey the Jesus, law? If that if that's what it means, obey the law follow the greatest commandments if that's what it means and believe to be saved those would be two different things would you agree with that if that's what, what it means so, so wait, wait a second the question is one is works based one is faith based one hold is hold works on. based one is faith based okay so here's my question once again i'll try where you the verse that you read bro does jesus say you have to obey the law and you will live or does he address the specific thing that the man said and said that's how you will live I, I think it's both. I think it's both. Oh, you've got. I'm asking about what the verse says. You can't think I, it's I, both. I'm asking I, what the verse says. I think bro. the verse says both. Jesus no, is pointing him. I don't want you to. Ball. I don't want you to think what the verse says. We read the verse. I'm looking at it right now as we speak, and he's and he says it's it says it right there in the verse. <laughs> it says it. I'm reading. I'm, it's right here. I, I have okay, it, I have so it. what does Jesus say to do and you will live? What does he say to do and you will live? Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. That's the greatest commandment. And the second the, okay. is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. Good. So That's does he say, law. 
Good. Right? Does he wait? Does he say obey the law and you will live? Oh, those exact words. No. Does he say believe? Okay. Yeah, we have we have the exact words where he says believe and you will Not live. There. That you that it's it that it's in his name that forgiveness of sins will be uh that the people will receive the forgiveness of sins. We have that ex the, the, ex word for word. In another passage. Yes, in Luke. I also have something in another passage that that acts as the opposite because my whole right. life, my it's not, yeah. not of works, it's by faith Avery, alone. Avery, Avery, I, no, I, I, works. I don't want. I don't want to stay on real. this too long, man. I don't. I don't want to stay. On this yeah, too I think long. we. I, I want to we're, I wanna show him. I want to introduce Avery, you to Muhammad. real quick before we before we even get on that. Before we even get on that, I just want to ask you, ask Felix one question. Felix, you're a Muslim, right? And this is a twofold question. Yeah, you're a Muslim, right? Yeah. And you said you've studied the um, the historical Jesus, correct? Yeah. Do you believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead? No, that's that that's contrary to Islamic doctrine. So you don't believe that Jesus died on the cross? That's contrary to Islamic doctrine. I Does the wrong. did the his, did Islam, the historic, I, I did the wrong. historical Okay, did the historical Jesus die on the cross? Yes or no? The historical Jesus died on the cross. So far, that's what the historical evidence shows. Yes. Then you cannot be a Muslim. Right. If I follow you history can't. verbatim, I, that is correct. Your entire point that you said for leaving Christianity and going to Islam was that Islam gives a more accurate description and view of the historical Jesus. Yes. Yeah, and, and the historical thing. Jesus, the sta and statement wise as well too, he says the historical Jesus um, doesn't line up with the, uh, um, you know, the Matthew, gospel. Mark, Luke, and the four gospel uh, Jesus as well. So yeah, I, I, bro, this is crazy. Keep going. I'm listening. <laughs> So, so, so it's, 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 I want to see where it goes. It's, the, it's, the, it's the historical Jesus that made you leave Christianity, but now the historical Jesus is not making you leave Islam. I, I, I didn't say I'm leaving Islam. I'm saying I'm in Islam, and I could it. be wrong. I'm staying open-minded because I saw the errors in the New Testament. We only had time to go through one. I saw the errors, and so I'm, I'm, I'm now which in Islam. You, which you still could History not could be wrong. History could be wrong, or I could be wrong. I'm, st I'm still in that journey. So so here, let me ask you this question. Wait Did you second, not wait. ask this question for yourself? Is, quote unquote, history wrong when I made this claim that the historical Jesus contradicts the four gospels? Did you ask yourself that question? When can, you were a Christian you and you were studying these things, did you ask that question? Yes or no? I, 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 I'm, I'm a little lost. Can you repeat that again? Did you ask this question when you when you left Christianity that, uh, you know, I, I could be wrong about this and history could be right or whatever? Yeah. History could be wrong. Be wrong OK, so about Matthew, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. OK, so so it, like this is I, theology. I, I, Matthew, Mark, my, Luke and John is mind, theology. My mind this is blown. Is no, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John is this history. Is crazy. My, I, my mind is blown right now because, Felix, you literally came up here. Your whole point was that Islam gives you the more historical, accurate view of Jesus. And therefore, you go to Islam. And yes. yet you, you just admitted that historically, according to the historical evidence, Jesus was crucified, yes, which yes. goes against Islam. So yes. how in the world do you say in the same breath? That Islam has the historical view of Jesus correct. The when according to history, the, the, he was crucified. It's, I said it's more in alignment with the historical Jesus. It is How not is in alignment it? at all. <laughs> it's more contradictory. It's contradictory to your Islamic Jesus. What do you, dude? He just what? he just said he just You're said that two he different sides of the He could not even historically prove that Jesus is the Messiah. So. If That's not this is the claim. top two claims, that is a historical claim. That's a it is a historical claim. It's a theological claim. If Jesus claim. claimed to be, it's if both. Jesus is the Messiah, it's a historical claim. 
Theology oh, is not history. So if, so if Jesus being Messiah cannot be proven by Islamic standards, and even the crucifixion of Jesus is contradictory to historical standards, why in the world are you a Muslim? And he just said theology isn't history. I don't. I don't. I. I can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I, 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 what, I, want you, I want you to answer Black Doctor's question. Why are you a Muslim when Islam goes against the historical Jesus? Islam, it, it's that historical fact. History cannot pr pr prove the supernatural. So I, I still believe in the supernatural. I'm, I'm using history to, to dissect both religions. It's, I'm using history as a tool to dissect both religions and trying to objectively see if either of them are true. One is well, more true. So far, one is more true than the other. Which one? Um, and and one that denies a literal historical fact that nobody else but them disagrees with. Both are, are you be seriously wrong. saying that? Both could be wrong, but as of right now, one is more correct because you're just looking at one historical fact. So, um, rest wait, wait. Off, and, and so, Reza so, Aslan is a Muslim, oh but he also I can't. Like, I can't. He you you he separates history from theology, but that's another. If if, if, if Allah gets wrong. The historical fact that Jesus died on, uh, on the cross by crucifixion under Pontius Pilate, if he gets that fact wrong, because that's a fact, and if he gets that wrong, then how is he God? How can you trust what he says if he get, can't get well, the facts right? But Avery, he said, but God, but Avery, he, said, he, said he, he said the reason why he's holding truth to that one still is because I'm guessing historically he's taking the Bible right? The four gospels, historical statements, right? Those compared to whatever historical statements he's found outside of the Bible, wherever he's getting those from, they don't match. So now we're having a, a textual issue with him here. In the Quran, let people what he said, I still believe in the supernatural. That's why he's not pulling away from the crucifixion narrative, whatever narrative he believes in. So let's figure out what does he mean by the, the reason why you're still holding truth to this is because you still believe in the supernatural. What do you mean by that? And there's problems in the and and there's problems in the New Testament. If the New Testament didn't have these contradictions, I could trust it more. No, but we're talking about belief. we're we're talking about the crucifixion in Islam now. What did okay, you mean by you still? I wasn't ready for this. Um, well, I, you I said you still hold the, truth so to the you ready, So you were ready just simply to attack our book instead of defending your own, huh? <laughs> That's what it was. I'm just, Felix, uh, I'm, I'm listening to you, bro. I, I am. I'm listening. I, I'm I, trying to be honest here. I'm trying to be honest here. But you're not, though. You're, I, I'm not, I'm not no, saying that, uh, like, it's, it's tough. Like, intellectually honest, you're not being intellectually honest. You, you, you have a criteria that you held to. And it proves the Quran to be false by that criteria, but you still hold on to the Quran. So that's what I'm confused about. Like if I'm if, using history talk, as a tool, talk. I'm using history as a tool to sort out the theological claims. And so history it's, could be wrong it, and or theology could be wrong. I'm trying to get to the ultimate okay. truth. Is it a theological claim or a historical claim that Jesus died on the cross on the cross by crucifixion? Died, died by crucifixion, sorry. Jesus died by crucifixion. A historical man named Jesus, he died by crucifixion. That's a historical claim. Okay. Saying that he rose from the dead is a theological claim. That's also a historical claim. So now, but let's focus on the crucifixion part, okay? So you have the historical fact that Jesus was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Historical fact. You have the Quran that says, no, he wasn't crucified. Okay. So the Quran is making a historical claim and gets the history wrong. Correct? You want to look more at this? The, the verse if, is if it's a history, you're, you're, you're presupposing the fact that if Jesus no, Jesus we can prove it. No, no, we, 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 we agreed. We, wait, wait, wait a second. Not just prove it. You agreed that the historical right, right, evidence says that, Yes. 
So yeah, we're getting into history. Yes, because it yeah, happened right. on it, right? That's a natural thing. Romans crucified many people. So right. it's in the realm of history. Cool. Okay. So okay. we, all, we already that's what I'm yeah. agreeing to. So good. So we already agreed that Jesus was crucified according to the historical evidence. So according to the his history, Jesus was crucified. The Quran contradicts the historical fact and says he wasn't. Correct. So Okay, so the Quran is wrong here, correct? It could be wrong. Wait, it it's either it, it's either it is or it isn't. If it's a historical fact that we know for sure Jesus was crucified, it, and, and the Quran says he wasn't, then it is wrong. If Jesus was actually crucified, one is making a historical claim, and I assume the Quran is touching on history. The Quran is making a historical claim as well, right? Now, history is not theology. I'm also interpolating what? that into the conversation. You guys think they're one and the same? No, we don't think they're one and the same. We just think, we like, just understand that there is, within history, there is theology. All right, I'm We're trying to put them right. both in the same. I'm trying to judge them both with objective criteria. I'm not presupposing that. I didn't presuppose that one is true by definite, by default, because I'm a Christian, and the other is false. I'm... I, I is, the, is, the, is, 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 is the Quran a, is the Quran a theological book? Of course. Does it contain history? Yes. Thank you. So and, and the Bible, we're and talking. The okay. Well. Thank you. So when we're talking about the statement that's made about a historical event, your your new your new God gets it wrong. You admit it historically. It's wrong. It, it, it's wrong. Okay, then they're both wrong because the New Testament also gets <clears throat> things wrong. And I didn't get a chance to get into it. Um, well, I don't think I, it's your live stream. I'm not going to force yeah, it I'm, on your I'm, live stream. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see. That's why sounds, that, I, sounds, I know from, from what we went, bro, what, what we went over, it sounds like you didn't time? have any type of understanding of what the Bible said. You didn't know that Jesus said that he was the center of eternal life in the book of Luke. You didn't know that. Um, I did. Yes, I, I did. I didn't say Jesus. No, didn't you didn't say that. You, no, yeah, you did. You said that you it's in said John. That it's in John that Jesus is the focal point of eternal life, while in Luke, Jesus says that you have to obey the law. In Luke, we saw that that wasn't the case, and that he was actually the center of eternal life again. My question is this, bro: You left the Christianity. You became a Muslim. I'll ask again: Why do you believe that Muhammad is a prophet? It's more an alignment with the Old Testament than Paul, Paul, whatever the New Testament does to the Old Testament. One is Got more it. in continuity with the Old Testament, and these uh, historical Jesus facts are more in alignment with the Old Testament. So the, the, Quran Quran the first thing that came out of his mind is Paul. <clears throat> it's interesting. But the Quran is in line with the Old Testament, so therefore you believe... More in alignment more compared to the New Testament. Compared to the New Testament. So again, so... The Quran is in line with the Old Testament. Yes. Okay. Can More you read? Them. Okay. Can you read chapter five, verse eighteen for me in your Quran? Also, side by side with that, get get your get your Bible. Oh, I'll I'll get it. I'll put it on the screen. So while we're doing this, what do you, Felix, what do you think the Old Testament actually says about salvation? It says nothing about a rising savior that is going to ra be raised from the dead. It says nothing that's about not what, that. That's not what I asked. I but, asked you, I'm, what do you I'm think glad he that said that, says? though. I'm glad that he said that, though. That's not I agree. I, I agree. I just want him to answer a simple, straightforward question. What do you think that it actually says about salvation? Well, that's a, that's Obey a the law. Obey the law okay. to be right with God. Repent of your sins. Obedience to the law. Repentance. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what what particular text would you would you go to in order to establish that? Wait, 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 wait. Keep them keep them focused on what I was what I was getting them on. Wonderful. You're right. You're right, brother Logic. You're right. I'll I'll stay in my hand. <laughs> Thanks, Mike, Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> This live stream, by the way, this live stream says proof that Jesus is a Muslim. Um, yeah, and now and we're getting into other things. Well, you wasn't getting into proving that Jesus was a Muslim. I, I, you, you I, was trying I, to I, I, I told you I had three verses. You we were trying to prove that one. The new, 
I wanted to get to the others to finish the the, the, the assertion. Now we're getting into other things. Your your you no know, your issue was uh, the New Testament uh, doesn't get the Jesus right. Um, and, uh, what he taught about salvation is wrong in John as opposed to the Synoptic Gospels, and what he seems to teach in in the uh, in Luke seems more to match up with Islam, which we saw that it doesn't. Jesus so, taught Islamic things. That was my main argument. Well, Jesus clearly, well, cl things. well, clearly, he didn't teach Islamic things when he taught that he's the Son of God who died for our sins, who rose on the third day, and therefore is the focal point of the forgiveness of sins. That's in Luke. There so are that's other not things Islamic. he says, but I mean, I'm okay. not going to interrupt. It's your live stream. I'm not going to. No, well, I'm just saying we just we we got rid of that part, so that I guess still stands. There are but other yeah, things so, he says, but no problem. Well, no problem. Chapter five there are other eight. things that I can use to manipulate my position, but I can't take everything that Jesus said because if we actually did, it would contradict my position. So I'm mm -hmm. going to take bits and pieces from what I think Jesus said that agrees with me. No, oh, what Jesus actually said, I, I, I see, I saw it clearly. So, so everything well, that chapter, Jesus he's that supposed to get chapter five, what Jesus said, <laughs> and everything that doesn't. Jesus didn't actually say that. Okay, well, why? Th because this I is so. all over the place. This Chapter five, verse eighteen, my friend. Get? Did you get the verse? Yeah. What does it say in the Quran? The Jews and Christians each say, "We are the children of Allah and His most beloved." Say, "O Prophet, why then does He punish you for your sins?" No, you are only humans like others of His own making. He forgives whoever He wills and punishes whoever He wills. To Allah alone it belongs to the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and everything in between, and to Him is the final return. Are the are the Jews the, the children of God according to the this verse? The children of Allah. No, you are only humans like the others of his own making. Okay. According to the Old Testament. Are the Jews the children of God? Yeah. Um, so, yes, I'm following your argument, yes. So does the Quran line up with what the Old Testament teaches? No. So why are you believing in, in the Quran when it doesn't align up with the, uh, when it doesn't line up with the Old Testament? Because it lines up more with the Old Testament. The New Testament lines up less with the Old Testament. According to the New Testament, back doctor, are the Jews the children of, of God? Yes. Hmm. So the New Testament got this right. Okay. The Quran now, got I have things, things in the wrong. New Testament that are not in the Old I have, Testament. I have another question. According to the Quran, is there a dying and rising Savior for the salvation of mankind? No. According to the Old Testament, is there a dying and rising savior according to, to to save mankind? No. No? No, it's not in the Old Testament. Okay. A right dying and rising Messiah, it's not in the Old Testament. Okay. What about a savior? How long how long were you a Christian again? Ten years. Ten plus years. So you're familiar right. then with Isaiah fifty three then, right? I know. Okay. So in in Isaiah fifty three, as we read here, um, it says <clears throat> talking about the servant, right? The suffering servant. You already know this, right? And it talks I, I, about yes, how many times. Okay, you read it many, many times. times. Many times. According to this, the servant is pierced for our transgressions and crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Does God put our sins our iniquities, our transgressions on this servant, according to the Old Testament? No. So what does it say here when it says he was he was pierced for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities? Was he was he pierced for his sins or for ours? Israel's sins. Okay, so He's pierced for the sins of Israel, not for his own sins. Sure. So this servant takes on the sins of Israel, is crushed for the sins of Israel, and is punished. His the, the punishment, the chastisement that he takes on brings Israel peace, and with his wounds, Israel is healed. 
All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. So the servant here bears the sin of Israel, according to you, correct? Yeah, the servant of the Lord. That's right. Okay. And so you said that according to the Old Testament, there's no dying and rising correct. Savior that... Correct. So, okay. C can I... Can I... Um, I was just, not... just, just really quick. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth like a lamb that is led to the slaughter and like a sheep that before its shares is silent. So he opened not his mouth by oppression and judgment. He was taken away. And as for the generation who considered that he was cut off of the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people, was the servant cut off from the land of the living, according to this verse? Yeah. What does it mean to be cut off from the land of the living? Israel was destroyed and battered and they were spread across all nations after the babylonian captivity wait wait, wait a second wait, wait. you you, you said israel. you said you said that the servant is taking on the sins of israel so the servant is distinct from israel the country israel the nation is taking the sins of the people israel is being personified Whoa. here israel, israel is, is being per let, let, me, uh, let me let me um where do, where do you get this me, from where is, if, where is you this keep, if you just keep reading the passage, go all the way down, it talks about Israel. There's no mention of a Messiah at all. Well, not actually, the word Messiah, the, actually not the word the Jesus, servant. not the word Christ. It talks about oh. the servant of the Lord. It's the yes. Israel. Just look, look, but keep reading. Go all the way down. Wait, 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 wait. One, one second. One second. Just all the way down. Wait, is, is this referring to a person or a city? It's re referring to the nation of Israel. To the nation of Israel. Yeah. Okay. So let me let me. Uh, all personification. Let me, the Old Testament does it all the time. You got you, got you, got you. Okay, Israel's so let a victory, me, right? Got you, got you. Is, is, let me, Jesus referring? I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Let's let's do this really quick too, because this is a, I like this. Did you just bring up two and one with that search like that? Uh, yeah. I didn't know that. Man I, I knows know what, what he's doing. doing. Trust the shake. Trust the shake. He knows what he's doing. That's interesting. I did not know you okay. can do that. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Have you read Isaiah 49? <laughs> yes. Okay. So uh here it says. Uh, let's 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 read. Where should we read from? Um, we'll read from one. Listen to me, O coastlands, and give attention, you peoples from afar. Right? Talking about the Gentiles, right? The Lord called me from the womb, from the body of my mother. He named my name. So this is talking about a person, right? Right? No. Who is it talking about? What is it talking about? Verse three. You are my servant, Israel. Ah. In whom I will be glorified. Okay. Israel. So this, per so this He's person personifying. Israel. God said in Ezekiel, okay, I, I got you. I got you. Israel. I got you. So the Did servant, the servant get a divorce with a person. Wait, wait one second. Uh, yes. So, so the, uh, so the servant here is identified as Israel, correct? Yes. Okay. So the servant is identified as Israel and Israel says, but I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity yet. Surely my right hand, my right is with the Lord and my recompense with my God. So this is the nation of Israel, right? All, yes. all 12 tribes, right? Yes. Okay. Verse five. And now the Lord says, he who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him and that Israel might be gathered to him. Yes. For I am honored in the eyes of the Lord and my God has become my strength. Wait a second. Israel is going to bring back Jacob and uh, bring back Israel to him. I'm going to bring back myself. Verse three. No, no, no. Yeah, that, verse that's three. Verse five. I'm talking verse about verse three. three. Yeah, verse three. You are says, my servant, Israel. The servant yes. of the Lord in Isaiah 53 is wait, Israel. Israel, no, Israel right? right there. Which, yeah, and then right. verse five talks wait, about wait, 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 just one the person one writing the passage. One second. Oh, wait a second. Wait, so verse five is not talking about Israel, the servant that was just that's mentioned in verse three now? It's a different person? Give me give me a second. It it, you're, you're like scrolling up and down and I'm not getting a chance to actually read it. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How about we do this? How about we just read through one? How about we just read from three to five? Okay, together. Cool. I, I didn't get to make my case that, that proves Jesus is a Muslim. I, 
I was only able to say one thing, and now we're really going by what you guys are saying. So this is well, kind no, no, of no. tricky. Going, this is kind of a keep it up. This we're is going, kind of by, manipulative. It's we're not going really, by you. It's actually manipulative to say that uh, you you why you left Christianity. You were a Christian for ten plus years, um, and and yet you didn't know that salvation through Jesus was taught in Luke. Um, you That's not what I said. That's not what I said. You're rejecting that. That is not what I said. You're rejecting yes, that there is a dying and rising servant of the Lord in Isaiah in the Old Testament. You said that the Quran is more in line with the Old Testament, which we saw that it wasn't, and we're seeing that it's not now. That's manipulative to say that you're now being honest and you're being, um, uh, well, you, you're trying to say objective. So let's do this. If you're honest, that means you care about truth. You could be very wrong about this. So let's read from three to five and let's just see what it says. Deal? This has gone on for a long time. I, I, I can't I can't do any more right now. I know it's you already, can't. It's you already came like here, Felix. This, is, this you is, is your fault. This is the consequences you of your actions. You guys went in a million I'm different not, I directions. I didn't get to finish you the one who went proving that Jesus is a Muslim. If you're you giving went a challenge, to the directions. you got to let you gotta we, let the we person went, we went finish where their you challenge. Went. We went where you went. You and went to this passage. And now that you're stuck, now that you're stuck, you now you have to go all of a sudden. I'm not I stuck. know. We, we know how this goes. Okay, you're I not stuck. I already read this passage. Okay, good. Then then tell me who is the servant and uh, who is the servant Israel that saves Israel. And he said to me, "You are my servant Israel, in whom I will be glorified." But I said, Israel, "Israel speaking, Israel as, speaking." As quickly as I can process this, I uh -huh. from what I saw in verse three, I gave my answer to that. Yes, I know. Um, Look, your your answer is that the servant of the Lord is Israel. I got you. I, I don't have all night, to be honest. I, I, I got, so this will be night. quick. I promise. You guys have be been quick. polite, but you did this take be this quick. way further than than letting this, me do this. This will be quick, Felix. This will be really quick. I promise. This will be super quick, super quick. I, I I understand and I agree with you that verse three says that the servant of God is Israel. Now you're saying Israel, the nation, All right? That's what you're saying. So my question is this. When Israel speaking, right? Let's read. I'm gonna just read through it, okay? But I said, this is Israel speaking, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity, yet surely my right is with the Lord and my recompense with my God. Okay. And and now the Lord says, Still Israel is speaking, he who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring back Jacob to him. And that Israel might be gathered to him. How okay. many Israels were just mentioned? What chapter? This is 49. 49. I thought he said he knows I, what the chapter is. He We've been on this, this for the last 53. 10 minutes. 53. We're on Isaiah 49. You said that you, you when I asked you, have you read Isaiah 49 before? You yes, chuckled. I've read it before. Okay, yes. good. So I'm asking you, how many Israels are mentioned? How many Israels are mentioned? Mm -hmm. I, I don't have an answer to that. Okay. So look, you see verse 3, it says that the servant is Israel, right? Who's working for the Lord, right? Yes. And then it mentions the nation of Israel. That's going to be gathered back. That that the servant Israel is going to be bringing back. You understand? Okay. So you have so you have Israel, the servant of the Lord, who's going to go save Israel, the nation. You see that? This is why he continues. I'm Look, it. I'm saying okay, good, 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 good. He continues, verse six. He says, "It is talking to his servant Israel." It is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to bring back the preserved of Israel. It's two Israels. Israel, okay. the servant, the savior, and Israel, the nation who needs to be saved. Okay. Okay, cool. So now when you say that, it, that Isaiah 53 is the same servant, right? The one who's identified as Israel, but that servant is not Israel, the nation. He's identified as Israel's representative because he atones for Israel, represents Israel, and saves Israel, the nation. Okay, cool. 
So Israel in Isaiah 53 is a person that specifically takes on the sins of the Israel, the nation. Awesome. So then why would you say that the Old Testament does not teach a dying and rising savior when Isaiah 53 literally does? Because nowhere, this is my last point. I, I, I really have to go. You guys can attack my a character all you want. I really have to go. This no, I want you to come. I want. We're Nowhere not going to attack your character. We want you to come back. I want to. I want you to come back and continue this. And we went a million different directions, and I couldn't fully give my case. So I, I do think that was dishonest. I don't think you did it on purpose, but I do think that it. it that's just how it don't happened. Don't demean my fair. character, but I'm gonna demean your character while I'm doing it. Awesome. So. Nowhere in the Old Testament does it say he will rise again in three days. Yes, it does. Three days. Yes, he will rise does. again in three days. No, yes, would you like to see that. that? Would you like to see that? Right before I go, go ahead. Three days. Okay, okay thank you. So remember, the servant is Israel, right? The Israel, the person, right? Watch. Come on, man. You're talking to a shake. Three days. Three days, brother. Okay. I'll be surprised. Okay. <laughs> Hold on one second while I get my, my chapter, man. I was just looking at this. Let me pull. Let me pull. You're making me pull out my notes, man. <laughs> let me just do this real quick before you go, man. Just give you a little nugget, a little gem here. Man, about to be the bowler hat guy from Meet the Robinsons. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, uh, all right. So, Hosea chapter six. Hosea chapter six, verses one to two. And then we have Hosea, watch this, Hosea 13, verse 14, okay? Now remember, the servant of the Lord is identified as Israel. Now watch what, watch this. Come, let us return to the Lord, for he has torn us that he may heal us. He has struck us down and he will bind us up. After two days, he will revive us. And on the third day, he will raise us up that we may live before him. Okay. On what day will Israel be raised? Third day. So they were killed, struck down, and raised up again on the third day. Now raised up from where? Hosea 13. I shall ransom them from the power of Sheol. I shall redeem them from death. O death, where are your plagues? O Sheol, where is your sting? Compassion is hidden from my eyes. This is what the New Testament quotes in the reflection of what Jesus did, dying for our sins, taking away the power and sting of death, rising again on the third day. This says that Israel, the servant, will die and rise again on the third day. Right here. Israel. Yes, and we saw no who Messiah. Israel was. No, 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 no Messiah there? There is the servant that who's identified as Israel is the Messiah who saves Israel the nation. We already saw that. Okay. All right. So so even in the Bible, we have thir the third day being raised up. All right. This doesn't take away any of the contradictions or problems in the New Testament. I wanted to get into that, but... Come, this, come, come back. This says come. this, but the, the New Testament, I still see, I saw a lot of problems and contradictions and... It, they're still there, so it okay. Right? And this, these are good points. It doesn't say Messiah, but I, I get what you're doing with the with the two messiahs. That's very good. Well, so remember, remember you're remember you're correct. You're back. Agree. The reason why. Wait, wait, let him finish. Let him finish real quick. Back there. It, it, okay. It, it, if you're correct, and the, and I'm going to look over all of this. If you're correct, I'll come right back. I I I I have no. Um, I want to go to whatever God says. Allah says. Um, it, but. It, none of the problems in the New Testament were addressed that led me out of it. So I'm just we literally uh, addressed. We, we at least addressed I, one of them. One passage. One passage. Let me, let me ask him this before he goes. Let me let me let me, let me ask him this before he goes. So we went from Felix, uh, did you, none to one did, that quick. Right, but let me ask him this really quick. Felix, you took your shahada. Yeah. Okay, and you said that you don't know too much about Islam. Okay. Did you have you read the entire Quran? He hasn't read the Quran. Um, 
about 60 percent. OK. And did you have you did done any research on issues, contradictions, uh, falsehood in the Quran? Have you done your research on that yet? I did. I did. I, I, I listened to a lot of the, the what we're, we're calling the contradictions and the verses of, taken out of the context. But you said you don't know too much about Islam, right? When we tried to go into it, you were like, I don't Correct. You were kind of right. like scrambling a little bit. Right, right, right. Yes. I, I know for so, sure the problems so let me, in the New Testament. So let that, me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I get it. So, so let me ask you this. Why would you submit to a religion that you don't know fully about? And it's, you know, like I'm not saying you have to know everything, but it seems as if you saw issues in Christianity, left Christianity took your shahada and now we're asking you questions of you know even when, when we tried to ask you questions about islam you kind of you kind of shambled you know what i mean it's, you like you kind of crumbled right in front of us and we're, i told you i don't so, know much about it a lot about well, it well why would you so take you your shahada if you don't know much about islam because i promise you if you gave us an hour to tell you about islam and talk to you about muhammad and the things you, that he did I promise you, you, you crumbled. Be. Be, be, uh, this might this is my last answer really to the last would. question because I saw the problems in the New Testament. But no, 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 Felix, Felix, no, 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 Felix, exactly. I, 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 I'm sorry, I can't talk. The, and I, the I, problems I, in I, the, I, the problems in the New going, Testament has no bearing on whether Islam is true. You, you've cut me off, so I got to go. Uh, take care. Gentlemen. I mean, that's I would fine. Like to do this again, but you got to be more organized. Um, no, next no, time, no, so. It's very organized. You just got to be sure organized. You're, you're consistent. That's all. We we go we go where Likewise. you go. All right, take care. All right, take care. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it makes no sense that whether whatever issue you have with the Bible doesn't make That's Buddhism true. true. Doesn't make you know Taoism true. Doesn't make Islam true. His his reasoning for taking a shahada was finding contradictions in the New Testament. What, how does that even well, make sense? What, what, what he should have did was came up here and said he's an eighth. Like right now, he's he's a believer, but he just doesn't know which religion is true. He just left Christianity, right. but right. his position is terrible. That's what I said. I left That's Christianity and took my shahada, but I don't know anything about Islam yet. What? Yeah, yeah. That's I'm what I going mean. to follow a religion that I completely don't know, and yet when I try to argue against the religion that I claim to have been for ten years, I can't understand the basics of it, or even maneuver my way through a simple passage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that that's why I said I was like, um, uh, you, like I, I'm not hearing why Islam is true for you. All I'm hearing is why you, why you, uh, so-called left Christianity, um, which. Clearly, you never was a part of if you don't think that Jesus taught that you didn't know that Jesus taught that he's the center of salvation in all the Gospels, not just John. Like, that's crazy to me. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Or, or like his, his reasoning kept switching uh, yeah. that also that 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 um, Islam gives the more accurate historical version of Jesus. And but admitted that according to the historical evidence, Jesus was crucified. While the Quran goes against that, so that criteria is gone now. So how does that work? Or that uh, that the Quran? I, I believe in the Quran because it lines up with the Old Testament. Well, we just saw that the old the Old Testament the kind of Quran contradicted the Old Testament. The Jews are not the children of God. We saw that the Old Testament teaches that the servant of the Lord Israel, the dying and rising Savior, who takes the atonement of the sins of the nation, while the Quran emphatically denies and rejects this well depending on how you look at this you know not not you know no no bearer of burdens can bear the burdens of another so technically the servant didn't bear any burden so he kind of he fits uh so you know you know uh but anyway guys <laughs> that's it for today Crazy. man we're at, we're at the three hour mark man um we're we're we're, we're at the three hour mark we're done here uh we will be back again tomorrow we'll be back again tomorrow with another one um so stay tuned for tomorrow on the live stream if you're on tiktok come with us on tiktok man we've been killing the game we've been killing it sorry for the the brothers i didn't uh couldn't get you up on this one tomorrow though come on up and we can uh we can hash it out hunter i saw you back there and i saw uh the other uh the other brother there too so yeah with that being said anything last any last words or nuggets y'all want to drop before we end this Mm, good job. Know.
<laughs> Good job. Hey, don't say three. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what, I, that's what I want to say, y'all. Don't say three. Please. Please don't do that. I would do be loud. I would be loud. I would be loud. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for the super chats. I appreciate every last one of you. Um, we saw that Islam is incoherent, man. It's it's incoherent. It's untrustworthy. The only truth is in Christ. There will be no confusion if you adhere just to him and him alone. Um, and that is where your foundation lies. Other than that, you will be lost like Felix, you know, swayed by the wind and double minded, you know. Um, but I hope he comes back and we have a full conversation. I'm going to introduce him. He doesn't know Muhammad yet. He doesn't know Muhammad yet, and I'm going to introduce him to Muhammad, Lord willing, and we'll see where his heart is. All right. All right. You guys be blessed. Pray for all of us. Stay prayed up and know that only God is triune and saves us through his son, Jesus Christ. Peace. <laughs>